Like my like my armor's only nines and tens. Right. Oh, that's kind of low, yeah. I'm at twelve right now, so. All right. What's up, everybody? No. Not to cut you off, RP, but we? we're beginning the stream. <laughs> uh, we are filming. Before you ask, because I'm assuming you're gonna ask. Yeah, let me ask. Are, right, are we filming? Yes, we are filming. Are As you, sure? you yes, I'm sure. Okay. As you can see, my build's completely. Did you, get, did you get a haircut? I did get a haircut. Oh, you're looking at the stream. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see from last time, my build's completely different. So is RP's. I don't know what he got going on there. We'll find it's out. Totally different. But I'm gonna walk through mine real quick. The differences from from now, from then to now, because there's not there's not that many really. Um, if you get a load design, I have the old design right here. So. Um, the main difference is we changed up the head, the, the head of our mobile suit. We have the Zeta Gundam head now. We have the Lupus Beam Rifle because it has ir ir iridation, I believe is how you say it. In other words, instead of charging up, it just shoots a big blast out of it, which is a lot more. I enjoy using that a lot more. Um, we have the Gundam Bar Barbados arms, which just look cooler in general on it. And then I think that's it. I think that's the only difference was the arms and the head and the weapon, I guess, obviously. But yeah, we upgraded everything to level 12. Our sword's are level 13. I think just from putting skills on it. Um, I did go ahead and make another build, which is this Zaku right here. That's actually really strong too. And I think I'm gonna use this first today. Uh, that's so, cool. So let me go load this guy. And then RP, what do you got going on here now? You look like you got funnels. Do you have funnels now? No. No, Wait. I don't have oh, you have funnels. Noble Gundam's head on. That's why you have hair, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what, okay. I think it's Noble or Nobel. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. it. Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. But yeah, a, a lot of changes since last time. I kind of grinded a little bit offline just to... Because I wanted to play the game, more or less. And it kind of ended up with a whole different build. But... Alright, so, where we left off in the story, we won the, we won the uh, tournament in Japan. And now we're on a Gunpla battle tour of Asia, it looks like. Um, we met young Will, who's an angsty American kid who is pissed off that Mr. Gunpla supposedly let him win, but he didn't. So that's uh, our new antagonist for the for the game. So I'm assuming we'll see him pop up from now, um, here and then. But anyways, let's uh, jump into the next mission. What level is your self RP? Um, a little bit less than yours, like nines and tens. I think we'll be okay. My 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 weapon's thirteen. Yeah, I think we, you'll be all right. I think I don't I don't think that uh even I think at the end of the uh chapter three I was only at like level nine ten and that was fine. So I think we'll, yeah. we'll be okay for a little while. If things start to get um, too hard, or you start dying really fast or something like that. Just we'll take a second and upgrade. I played ahead a little bit in chapter four and I was fine. Oh, okay. Well, then you know already. All right. So this thing, the machine gun skills are wild. Once I get turned, once I come online, and then the axe skill is actually really good too. So let me get a couple kills, and once we can start using them, you'll see how crazy this gets. <clears throat> so I tried to keep this build. It's close to like a, what a Zaku could be in like lore wise. So like there's nothing crazy on it. Just got a lot of missiles and bazookas and that kind of shit. Um, I think everything on is from the one year war also. Yeah. Uh, high mobility legs. The Rosin Zulu, the, the newest thing I have on it is the Rosin Zulu shield, which is from Unicorn. Everything else is from, uh, I think 0083 and before. So, and that would be our beam machine gun. It's the Gerbera Tetra weapon. So it's pretty canonical, we'll say. Like it could it could have appeared at some point. Watching the iron blood work. Oh yeah? Yeah. How far did you get? I just watched the first one. It uh gets pretty really crazy. Good, one thing that like, show has like is really good lot. openings. Like awesome. Yeah. Spinning. That attack is, is ridiculously strong. It like breaks everything apart too. Okay. 
I almost enjoy playing this build more than my main one. I got your new main one. Ah, probably, probably not. But this is really fun to play, so. What are those orbs around? Uh, they, they're like little machine gun orbs. How's that lance treating you? That's pretty neat. A lot of stabs. You gotta get new skills for it. Yeah, I gotta actually get skills, yeah. There's a, the first one of the that abilities you unlock for Lance is like the Dragoon Jump. Have you used it already? No, I watched the video. <laughs> nice. This spin is really good, except that you can't catch up to anything. Like if if uh, you kill what's immediately around you, you, you can't like stop spinning. Like you're locked you. in once you start the skill. Yeah. One needs to have some kind of drawback. Yeah. Oh, the model is venerable. You've been watching during log on? I want episode six, I think. Nice. Or seven. I don't know. Uh, they combined. That was kind of cool. Did they? Yeah. I like how he's literally smashed his head on him and it. Uh huh. And then the little guy made it work. I like that uh that general dude. He, he, his uh gunman was kind of cool. I don't remember his name. Uh, his, his big battleship one. Uh yeah, it had like the it has that like it had like the samurai thing on its head that uh -huh. they, they break off and put on it. It becomes part of uh, Gurren Logan. I guess is the name of the robot now, right? Oh you oh you mean Gurren? Uh yeah, he's like the yeah. half human half beast man guy. Oh yeah, he's a beast. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was his uh his unit was pretty cool. The other gunman looked kind of like cartoony, but his looks more like intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, it's like real sleek. Yeah. I did not uh remember that there were like little things piloting those. I thought they were monsters. Oh, you mean all the machines? Yeah, like I thought I thought those were just giant monsters. I did not remember that there were like little beast dudes inside of them piloting them. Yeah, there's little beast. Dudes. Yeah, because when I saw that, I was like, wait, what the fuck? You're right. Everything that I saw was episode one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I everything think, you told me was episode one. So according to Netflix, I watched up to episode five originally. I don't remember anything that happened after episode one, though. Yeah, you watched it so long ago. Yeah. So Kamina yeah. is going to be the same kind of character that Orga is in Iron-Blooded Orphans. Oh, really? Yeah, and then uh, the, the little dude, I don't, what was, what's the Emo. little dude? Yeah. Um, he's kind of like Mikazuki, except Mika is a lot more, is a lot darker. But they, it's, it's, they have a similar kind of, uh, friendship that, that, uh, Simon, or Simone and, um, Kamina have. I, why do they call him Simon? It, it looks like it should be Simon. I thought it looks like it should be, but that's just not how they pronounce it. I don't know why. You lot of yeah. You, did you um? If you spend some time at some point, you should try to make sure you get uh like what skills you have on everything. Like they line up to what you're actually doing in game. What like I have a lot of axe DPS and machine gun DPS. Oh yeah, that's what I, parts. Went through, I got a bunch of lanes. And then like you want response speed because that's how fast you attack. Oh okay. Um. And then what? Let me think. What else? What else is important? Uh, I, I have a lot of stuff on this build that, ha that breaks enemy parts off because the axe yeah. is good at that. Um, and then on my other build, I have a lot of stuff that keeps optional parts out longer because I have funnels and I want them to stay out longer. So like stuff like that yeah. increases your DPS. And then there's all, also skills that are like for particular abilities. Like I think I have a skill that makes my cyclone axe stronger. That's cool. So I, I've only seen like two or three of those so far. I'm assuming as you play more, you'll, you'll pop up more here and there. Right. Yeah, I haven't really noticed any of the skills I have. Yeah. I don't have that many skills. Either. Did you uh, see the new Twitch DM DMCA stuff? Anything about it? No, I don't. Think so. No, like so like now it's you can't. Not that I ever did anyway. 
um you can't play music on your channel like i can't just okay. have like spotify playing right now yeah um and there's a concern that some in-game soundtracks might also get you caught or not caught but have you have you have claims on them right so like for example if i was playing grand theft auto 5 i couldn't have the radio on in the car yeah. Which that like kind of sucks like a lot. Yeah, but like it, it, it's like a weird fair use kind of thing It's like what do you like do you just shut the in-game soundtrack off then, you know? Right, yeah, so what I'm hurt, hoping that it doesn't go like like for example like if you're playing Final Fantasy Like that 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 OST for Final Fantasy like I hope yeah. that doesn't Like that doesn't get claimed because then Hopefully what the fuck not. do you do? Like how do you play a game like that with no you, you have to have music in it You can't even shut the music off. I don't think Right, yeah, I don't think you can. Yeah. What up, Artie? I think yeah. I was, I think that was a problem with Kingdom Hearts too. Yeah, yeah, like those kind of games. Like, how do you, how do you, what do you do about it? Or like, for the for example, this one, this has soundtracks from the shows in it. Like, if they yeah. mute those soundtracks, it's kind of shitty, you know? Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Yeah. Which I think there might be options in this game to shut them off. I don't even know. Oh god, I, I press buttons. Oh. I, oh. I, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> we were at the end. <laughs> what up, Artie? Um. Yeah, this How'd you is, press the wrong button that many times? It's kind of like hack and slash madness. I pressed X and then I pressed circle because I thought I was going to delete a part. Oh well, try again. That was fast. That was like a five minute mission. <laughs> and now we get double the rewards. Yeah, that's how you want to look at it. Yeah, at that's how I'm going to look at it. <clears throat> but yeah, like hopefully they don't go down that route. Like when it, like soundtracks and stuff. I don't know if that's... I, I'm not really familiar with copyright law or anything like that, right. but it, it looks like it could be like It could screw some people over because like I don't really have a lot of clips thank like which is bad and good I guess in this respect it's good because a lot of people had a lot of clips on Twitch and this clips have like um Have songs in them and stuff. That they were like just hella sitting to while they were playing the games, right? Um, and it, I think it goes back to 2017 So any clips you have from now back to 2017 can be claimed under whatever yeah. happens yeah. and so like some streamers like big streamers especially have like a lot of clips you know what i mean well, yeah, yeah, like thousands of clips because anyone can clip your stream like anyone watching yeah. can make a clip of it and uh and there's like no easy way right now for them to go back and like mute those sections out and stuff like that so i guess that's yeah, currently they just have to the clips. yeah and that's currently a problem i guess that they're trying to work through yeah, already. This game is like, uh, you if you played uh, ever played like Dynasty Warriors or something like that, like it's kind of that level of constant action hack and slash. But like, there's a, a layer to it because you're building the units you're using, and they have like more complex abilities and whatnot. So it's like almost like uh, if you combine Dynasty Warriors um, with Diablo style loot, and and if you could make your own character, but like literally put all the pieces together. So it's like a weird mix that is really fun actually and extremely addicting. Uh, this game, this is a PS4 game, uh, but the predecessors to this would have been like Federation versus Xeon. That was a PS2 game. Uh, it's nowhere near uh, like it's not really like this at all like in some respect like it, this is way crazier and way more uh fantastical i guess with the uh abilities but and there was also gundam breaker one two and one and two that came out before this which i think those are ps3 games also i never played those though. those were only in japan so you probably didn't play those but you probably played uh federation a lot of people played federation versus Zeon on the ps2 This, like there were no abilities in that game or anything like that. It was like you were just playing as the mobile suits as they were shown in the show. This is like you like all custom build your own. A bunch of games for sale on the eShop right now. On the uh, like uh, the on PSN or no on the eShop. Like what? The anything? Nintendo eShop. Oh, the Nintendo eShop. What? Anything good? Um, I picked up that Yu-Gi-Oh game. That was, that was played through all the different shows. Oh, uh, what is that called? Uh, Legacy of the Doors. That's is that yeah. kind of new or no? 
It's kind of new. They added more DLC to it, and then the Switch version includes that DLC. So you said you go through every show? Yeah. How many yeah, video you, shows were there? You go through the base show, you go through GX, 5Ds. What is that? Um, 5Ds is where this card game's on motorcycles. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I think I've seen like one episode of that, actually. Yeah, I, I didn't really watch it. Yeah, I, that was, um, that was, that, that's like, that, that came out like not too long ago, right? In terms of like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was out when we were little kids. It, this this right. is like fairly contemporary compared to that, right? That was probably like end of high school for us. Okay, yeah. Somewhere around there. Okay, yeah, I never watched that before. And then there has been, uh, there's one called Zexel, which I don't know anything about that. And then there's one called V-Rains, or Brains or something. Oh, sure wow. Yeah. I did not know there were that many but that's iterations. Like, they added that DLC, because I have it on PS4 also, but I got it when it first came out. Oh, okay. So they added that stuff as DLC, but I just bought everything else on the Switch. Gotcha. It was like, it was like 28 bucks, I think. I, I, I never ended up picking up Cyber Sleuth. I was going to play that, but I never ended up grabbing it. I, it's probably not, I think the sale ended at the end of May. Probably. That I was looking at. But it'll probably go on sale again. Yeah. If it was for sale once, it's going to be again. Oh, definitely. Plus, you have this to play now. Right. I, I've been playing this a lot. All your time like, I know I haven't like I, my I haven't like I could have been wait like I would have had to go do the game complete by now easily. Right. But I just keep doing the hot spot missions and like messing around with builds. Yeah. I like to do all that stuff, but I I, I want to wait for the intelligence. Yeah. So then I can unlock all the parts or more parts. I guess. Like uh, because we have there's six chapters I believe. Oh, really? in, in, the, in the regular sword, but then we have six DLC chapters to do. Oh, okay. And, and I believe this chapter we're in right now is actually pretty... One of them has like 16 missions in it or something like that. That's a lot. Yeah, so one of the chapters is pretty long. I don't remember which of it was chapter four or five. This, this yeah. is pretty long. One of them is. I got to mission five and six of this chapter. Oh, cool. And then I Which think I'm we, sure we'll get past tonight. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna try to. We're gonna try to get as far as we can into the story because I want to unlock more mobile suits. Yeah. Because I think you're kind of your pool is limited, even with the hot spots, because the hot spots kind of start to repeat themselves. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, and then I think all the DLC missions have like four or five missions in them too. Awesome. So I mean, they're not like it won't be like exponentially long, but I think there's a lot of content left. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot more content. Because I think he, with each one of them, they added a couple mobile suits. Yeah. So, there'll be a lot of variety still. Hopefully, it won't get like stale in terms of what we fight. Plus, I like seeing new areas. Yeah, well, that. So, I don't know how much of that we're actually going to get. I don't know how many right. different maps there actually are. Um, there probably aren't that many, but the variety yeah. of enemies is going to get is going to keep growing. Because there's a lot of suits um, that I was looking at, like wondering where you got them at, and a lot of them are like specific to like two or three missions where you actually see them at. Well, yeah, I was looking at builds and stuff, like just for different cosmetic designs. Yeah. And there were a bunch of parts that I just don't have yet. Yeah. But that I'm not able to buy or anything. Like, I wanted to make a Megazord build. Can you do that? Well, you can do something similar. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to make it look like a Megazord. Which but Megazord? I don't, the right, I don't um, Mighty Morphin. The OG, then. Uh -huh. Wait, my, that is the OG, right? Mighty Morphin? That's yeah. the original. Yeah. yeah, Mighty Morphin. Probably. You definitely could make Gurren Logan or something close to it. The face would be hard to replicate, though. Like the the big face yeah. on the center. Yeah, it's hard with to the make glasses. I was I was trying it earlier. Yeah, that that would be the hard part. I think of that to make. Um, th there's a video on that too. There's somebody. That yeah, Gurren that figures. I mean, someone made a. Uh, I looked it up. There's a Dragoon build someone did. Oh really? Um, I really didn't like it to be honest with you, but it also was from six years ago before any of the DLCs. So there's probably better ways to do it now too. Probably. 
Hopefully somebody updates it. I mean, we're gonna. I'm just gonna try to make one. All right, up, all right, Artie. Thanks for stopping by. Lay down and watch some bitchy one. I think he's watching Avatar right now. I mean, he might have finished yeah, it already. A great choice. Yeah. I thought this show was longer for some reason. I guess it just seemed it's longer really. back in the day because it was like, was it one episode a week or how? Do you remember yeah, how? Yeah, once a week. Yeah, maybe that's why it seemed um so much longer. Oh, you finished it two days ago. You finished it in two days actually. Nice. All right, so you binge watched it then. Yeah, it's not that long. Because each episode is only 23 minutes. We had 23 minutes and you have the intro and the recap. The ending. Right, and I, I mean, I'm assuming you don't watch that every time. Right, yeah, so you only have like yeah. 16, 18 minutes of yeah. content. It just seemed like it was a lot longer, I guess, because like I said before, it was one week at a time. Yeah. The new episodes of Supernatural on Netflix. Didn't you watch like all of Supernatural like a bunch of times already? All of Supernatural? That's a commitment. All of Supernatural. I'm pretty sure you... Or maybe you... I thought he did. I don't know. I'm sure he'll confirm it or not. I thought he was rolling a Supernatural, though. I've tried to watch all of Supernatural. It's hard. There are 14 seasons. It's <laughs> a lot. They're all like 45 minutes long. Yeah, that's one of those shows. Yeah. 20 plus episodes each. Yep. Yeah, they're long seasons, too. I like it, though. I like watching it. I think I've watched... I've only watched a handful of Supernatural episodes. And they were all when me and uh, Dalton lived together in college, because he watched it and I just like was there, so I watched yeah. it by association. He already said he owns the collection and watched it three times through. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I thought I thought you watched it a lot. That's a lot of supernatural. It's a lot of content. That's a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's the fine aim mode. That's cool. Oh, uh, you watched it two times while you were deployed. You don't count those because you had none. Uh, okay. That was in your downtime. Yeah. Oh wait, we got the serpent stuff. That's cool. I got Sonic Thrust. Ultron, Toggies 2. Cool. Alright, Artie, I'll talk to you later. Oh, this thing has a face on it. Okay, here you go, RP. Hold on. That's uh, pretty cool. Did you unlock look at this? You could do this with like something something in the center, maybe. Those are like eyes. That's what, that's what I was trying to make, like just when I can build parts and stuff. Yeah, you could probably do something That's with this, neat. I bet. It would it would be similar. What is that? Versagio. A Gundam Versagio uh break chest. Gundam. And I believe there's those are cans on the on the center too. Oh I got some. That does look neat. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to Red Wing. I also made a Red Wing sword oh, version, please. which is pretty cool. Um I didn't level it up though, so I'm not gonna use it today. But yeah, let's load this guy. All right, mission two, single step, G GBTA one finals. Gunpla battle. What does what does TA mean? Where does it say TA? GBTA one is what it said. Uh, if you look at the mission selection, single step GBTA one. So I'm assuming gun gunpla oh, battle see. something maybe. I don't know. Are we doing another kind of like tournament thing? Uh, we're on the, yeah, we're on like a, a cross country one or a okay. cross Asia tour right now or something like that. It said, yeah, it's like, like the, the doctor, not the, not the doctor, but the engineer said you should go like do a tournament like that before well, yeah, yeah, the world we, cup. We got invited to something, didn't we? Yeah. Well, we're invited to go to the world cup or whatever is you want to call it. Do? This is not, this is like our practice right. before then. We're just like doing another tournament before then. This is a new map. No, this is oh, maybe it is. Yeah, this is not the Info Chan map because this is like there's like a city below us. Or is there a boss? No, just a. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, this guy's look really cool. I'm eventually gonna do something with a cape, I think. Capes are cool. They are cool. Giant robots with capes on just looks cool. This dude blocked everything, <laughs> but he has no shield now. Yeah, if anyone else decides to join us tonight, um, I'm gonna request that they keep their unit around oh, our level. Cool. Yeah. That way that uh. So it's not too easy. Yeah, because I like wanna actually see the fight happen without them insta dying. Right. Look at my guys. You see him? 
That's awesome. Yeah. Fin funnels. They even look cool. The fin funnels? Yeah. Yeah. They, they look like energy swords. They Halo. burn out pretty quick, though. There's another, yeah. um, the double O Quanta backpack, which I don't know if that means anything to you, but anyways, uh, its backpack has, uh, sword bits on it, so they don't, like, stab the enemy, which is pretty cool. That, um, Sauna Specimen is pretty cool. Is that the Dragoon ability looking? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I jump way up in the air and just slam down. Yeah. I'm still trying to level this up. What is that? What kind of beam? That's me. My shield. Oh. The only problem with the funnels is they run out really quick. What level are my parts right now? Uh, they're level 12. I think they're all level 12. My sword's level 13, and RP's around the same, I think. I'm pretty close. Yeah. A little bit lower, but it's okay. Now, I guess, obviously, what it looks like right now is we don't want to go any higher than that, because these battles aren't very hard. Yeah, we're not. We're only on, we're on normal, though, also. Not playing on hardcore yet. Oh, yeah. Correct. I mean, eventually, I think I think you need to up the, the uh, difficulty eventually because you're if you keep upgrading your suit, it'll be too strong. Right. So that's why I like getting new parts and stuff. Is that you know, I... And then another thing you should do whenever you uh, get some new parts, you start using, you should. Um, pair merge them with parts that are like a higher level like if you have like a blue set of legs if you pair, pair match them with like an orange set they'll get more ability slots then that's a good way oh, to, really yeah that's a really good way to make things stronger too i don't have many orange pieces of i got like two so i, mean, that, I was that, just yeah, an that example rarity. yeah i don't know what i don't remember if that's the highest rarity or not i think it is though because there's a, there's a lot of um ability slots on orange equipment oh, okay um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have a purpose. Some do, do you some put in um, any of the cubes? No. So what the cubes are? It's like if you can't find the right ability to pair merge, you can yeah. you can um, use a cube instead that will give a similar ability. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look up what some of these abilities do. There's a uh, if you look it up, um, there should be a Google Docs link that has what they all do. Oh, cool. They think she's our little sister and she's like 30. Yeah. What an anime thing. These are the kids we fought in the last tournament, I think. Yeah. Some abilities are only available through ability cubes. I did not know that. What was that? Oh. Are we gonna fight with them? Yeah, that's cool. Change the scenery. オキナワ宇宙飛行士訓練学校の生徒なのよ。ハードもソフトも必要な知識は持ってるわよ。え、お前らオーツか。なかなか優秀じゃないか。気に入った。よし。オキナワ宇宙飛行士訓練商店街チ
playing my playing DPS abilities, but with a percent increase instead of a flat. Oh, okay, uh, cool. okay. So, so don't use your don't use your cubes yet. Right. I haven't used any yet either. I figure they were that was one of those things you want to save till the end. Yeah, they're probably a little more rare. I think I have the same. No, our legs aren't the same. Or are they? I don't know what legs. No, are. no. I think he has pell rider pell rider legs. Not sure. So I looked up today that whenever I played through Xeonic Front uh, a month ago, whatever it was, I was wondering if there was any background material for that. And I guess they did come up with a manga for it that actually shows the end. Like, you don't ever get the end end in the game. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I found a YouTube series that it like explains what happens in it. Hey. And I also don't think they're, they're emblems in this game, so I can't use it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. The Midnight Fenrir squad. Or core. I think they're Midnight Fenrir core. You probably can't see it right now, RP, because there's too much going on, but when I kick people now, there's blades that appear on my leg. That's really cool. Yeah. It's from the... I think it's Infinite Justice... Infinite Justice Gundam, I think, gives it. Kick the goal up. I didn't realize Misa and Robata wasn't weren't with us. They probably explained that last time. Oh yeah, because they went off. Didn't they go off and do something? Uh, apparently, yes. DPS and mastery abilities do stack, by the way. So if you have a saber, saber DPS for seven and arms. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. So the only thing that I believe doesn't stack are like the unique abilities, like uh, like nano skin and like wing binder, like those uh, the ones that are in orange. I believe don't stack. Like psycho frame doesn't stack. You only get one instance of it. What is psycho frame? I believe that's response speed. None of them do anything like super crazy. They're all like response speed, beam resistance, uh, like stuff like that. Okay. Only the highest one takes effect. Okay. I guess that makes I didn't know the highest one took effect, but that does make sense now that you say it. Well? I have no idea what, what that Gundam is we're fighting. With like the giant... They're not wings, I don't know what they are. Gundam, There's a lot of Gundams in here that I've never seen before. It's just surprising. I'm gonna activate. Do you have any uh, activation skills? Like, like I don't. Well, you would know. It's a. Uh, what are your four uh, EX abilities or burst abilities, or whatever they're called in this game? I guess like, what, what, which ones are those? And the bottom right. Bottom right. Okay. Um, nothing different than what I have. Before. Like for example, you don't have one of the ones that has like a little dude dashing as the symbol. Oh no, 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 no. I don't have any of those. No. So well, those all about. essentially do the same thing. Um, they, they allow you to cancel attacks with boost and then increase your movement speed. Yeah, okay. So yeah, they, yeah, that was the Trans Am. Like, right, it was your Trans Am, yes. Yeah, I had another one. Though, this okay, yeah, so they're called EX actions. Yes, those, those guys. Okay. Because Awakening is different. Awakening is our middle bar. That we, that's that's when you... you, you, you have is that like the... Is that the burst move? Cor correct. Well, that's... Yes. Because you also get awakened abilities. Like, besides the giant sword thing, there's, like, unique ones depending on the gear, the equipment you have on. Yeah. Don't go to the next area. There's a chest over here. Where? Uh, well, I, I don't... I think they spawn for both of us. Way over here on the other side of the map. Yeah, it's there for you. Yeah. I get to open it on my own. High-quality plus. Thanks, Ron Direct. I saw your your message now. That's that's what RP has. I was wondering how RP kept figuring these things out. You're you're telling him. That's why he's reading. Chat. Yeah, I was reading. Yeah. Dude, it was so hot here today. Really? It was like 95 degrees outside. Oh yeah, that's, that's like me in your house. It, well, it's hot in my house too. Turn your AC on. Dude. It is on. Well, downstairs is not too bad. Um, the AC upstairs wasn't on. Sadly, Ooh, I don't have central, central air, now. which is trash. I know. I hate not having central air, but right. just, um, my house has central air. Now. First time I've had it. Yeah, it's, I, I, it's, it's nice, isn't it? 
That's very nice. Um, I don't. It's not so bad not having it because our we have one air conditioning unit downstairs that like right. actually cools the whole downstairs really well. Um, it's not that big either. It just works pretty well. And we have one unit upstairs, but um, for some reason Kelsey likes to shut it off when she leaves upstairs, <laughs> and then it gets like really fucking hot because no one's here all day. Yeah. Just upstairs, like the, the one downstairs is on, but like it doesn't heat up the staircase or cool right. down up the staircase rather. Like she's paranoid about it catching on fire. I guess. She claims that I made a comment about like we should shut it off when we're not here, but I don't remember ever saying that because I don't. I hate I being mean, hot. Yeah. You probably should just for safety. Yeah, I'm not saying it's the wrong idea. But like financially, I don't think you're saving anything by shutting it off. I think it just runs twice as hard when it turns back on. Because right, like, they have yeah. economy modes where they shut off when they hit the temperature they're supposed yeah. to be at. So you're, it, it should work that's out, just, I think. Like normal usage. Yeah. Just to have thermos. Now I think that. Uh, Overall, we're probably spending more money on electricity than having central air, having the, the window units. Yeah, I think they do go up the Yeah. But it's an old-ass house, so, I mean, to get central air would, would not would not right. be easy. Yeah, it'd be pretty Like, hard. it's not set up for it at all. Yeah, you have to run on the bus. Yeah. Because, like, the way the heat works, it's uh, radiator heat, so there's, like, the uh, little yeah. radiators along the floor, so there's no uh, ductwork in the house. So yeah, it, you did, it, yeah. The, the it would be a... Uh, a big undertaking to ever to like try to do that. Yeah. I got pretty lucky I have force there. That's good, yeah. I mean it sucks is that my unit's real old. It's like I guess like twenty years old. Oh really? I mean it works fine, but I kinda wanted to quit working because I'm still on the home warranty. Oh, uh, I understand. Like so you get a new one. Yeah. Because if it's 20 years old, it's only a matter of time. Exactly. I don't know how Same long. Same with the roof. Like, yeah. Like, like the roofs are old too. That one just this year. Well, yeah. If it's an old roof, eventually you're going to get a leak. It's inve inevitable. Eventually, it's going to get a leak or something. Yeah, just that. Yeah. I don't know how long roofs are good for. I have no idea. And the trans type ones like Trans Am are mostly the same, but some have extra effects. Super Dragoon from Strike Freedom Backpack gives you eight Dragoons units while active. Whoa. There's two tied to DLC parts that also have extra effects, but you aren't there yet. Oh, okay. Sounds so really Dragoons cool. are like funnels, I believe, too. They're from Gundam Seed. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah. Uh, there's a... I think that's what... I'm, I think I'm correct in saying that. Because I think Providence Gundam, which we fought before, its backpack has Dragoons on it. How do you get the super dragoons? You have to equip a strike trainer back on. Is that uh, that to get the super dragoons, you'd have to have whatever piece of equipment requires for you to get that. Yeah, well, you said is strike freedom. Is that strike freedom like a. Oh, yeah, sorry, strike freedom back. I, I missed yeah. that part, yeah. So, yeah, if you put the strike. I had that on earlier, or last time. It was the backpack that I had with wings that had giant cannons on them. Oh, okay. Uh, so, if you have that on. We did, I had it on, but I didn't have. We didn't have the ability unlocked yet. You still have to unlock yeah. the ability. How do you get the boot? Just have to keep using it, or what? I don't know. I'm assuming you. You. Get, I, I don't know. I, I, probably like everything else. After a certain amount of time using it, you might get it. Because there's also there's some um, like board. with uh with the NT new type destroyer mode that I have. Um, I saw. Um, so there, I think there's a chest on the bridge. In there. Where? There's a chest over here. I got it already. What Ooh, is it? you're right, Ronderix. I had I had the Freedom backpack, not the Strike Freedom. That's correct. Oh, strike Freedom. Yeah, so I'm not really familiar with Gundam Seed too much. Um, I've watched a little bit of the original Gundam Seed, but I've not watched any of Destiny, which I'm pretty sure is what that's from. Um, and I know there's a lot of Gundams in Gundam Seed, like more than, more so than most Gundam shows. So I'm not really familiar with a lot of those units. Um, but yeah, I think there's one for the new type of destroyer mode that I saw too. It's on like I think the full full armor unicorn Gundam ha gets it. It's like a uh, essentially a, a hug <laughs> is what it is. It's from the show, um, but it like stuns enemies and, and like knocks all their parts off and shit. Um, when we get to it, there's a, a mobile suit called the the Phoenix. Which is from Mobile Suit Gundam uh, Narrative. It's the same, it's similar to the Unicorn Gundam, which is where my chest is from. 
it gets uh, an ability where like these giant green wings come out of it and they like envelop everything around it and they knock all their parts off and shit. It's actually really cool. I think that might be a DLC. That's, I'm almost positive that's a DLC unit though. Because it just came out maybe like two years ago. And this oh, game's okay. been out longer than that. Yeah. Good thing we have Oh, uh, okay, that's fair. So, and I believe I played Dynasty Warrior Gundam 2 also, and I used uh, Milliard of Peacecraft, or Zex, Mar Zex Marquis, whichever one I call him. I think I used him the entire time that I played that game. Like, I played as the Epion the whole time. But yeah, I never really got into Seed. I've heard Kira is, uh, people really don't like him very much, though. Like, in the community. You like the main character or something? Yeah. I think he's extremely whiny. Yeah. Which a lot of Gundam protagonists are kind of whiny because they're all kids. But some are a lot worse than others. Like, for example, in Iron Blooded Orphans, like Mika, which I'm, you met him, obviously, because you watched yeah. the first episode. He's not whiny. He's actually, like, the opposite of what they usually are. Well, was he, like, someone who was already born on Mars or something? Were they saying that? Um, Orga and Mika may have been on. They're orphans, I know that. Obviously, because. Yeah. Title of the show. Or are they fire and Um There's actually a reason. Like the, the title will make sense whenever they form Tekadin. I don't think they did yet. Yeah, the, it, I think the, their their uh, mercenary group is called Tekadin, which stands for Iron Flower. Oh, okay. So Iron Blood Orphans. I think that's kind of where they got the name from. <clears throat> did uh, in the first episode does Mika get in the Gundam? Yeah, that's how, that's how it ends, ends, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then they have those weird things like on their back. Oh, that's the uh, uh, Alia Vin Vinyana Vinjana. I can't. I maybe I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Essentially, okay. So the concept for um, Iron Blooded Orphans is like how Mika plugs into the Gundam. Uh huh. He becomes like the CPU for the Gundam, essentially. Oh, that's good. So he's like an organic computer for it. And that, that, that's why I can it, essentially he's a, he's processing the data for the Gundam to, to out operate faster, which is why um, anyone who has that 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 implant that he has on his back, um, they can become like ace pilots really easily. Well, so do people get a different amount of implants? Yeah. So apparently because you it looks get, like some guys have two, some correct, guys have one. Correct. Correct. Mika has like three or four, I think. Yeah, he has like three. He has the most. Like he has more than anybody else there has, which is why he's yeah. able to be the best pilot. Um, they don't. I don't know if they go into the lore of what each surgery entails, like why that makes it better. It just they just specifically say that like the more times you get the surgery done, the better, like the, the stronger the implant is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the J is silent, Roderick. I think you're right. So it's Alia Vignana. I like this lance. I like my heavy attack. I zip around guys. What uh, what lance is that? Um, I forget what it's called. I think it's just Gundam Lance. Let me let me see whenever we spawn. Oh, uh, that's um. Wait a second. I have no idea where that's from, actually. Huh. Uh, when we get back to the menu, let me know. I'm curious. I don't think I had. I don't think I picked that one up yet. Uh, maybe. I mean, that was only a few minutes ahead. I don't think it's that good. Yeah, but you also could have just did a mission, like a hotspot or something, that, that whatever drops it was in. Maybe. Yeah. Because I started to see some random ones that I've never seen before. Um, I, like, I got the uh, full armor Gundam from Thunderbolt, which you'll notice when you see it, because it's like got a shit ton of weapons on it. That sounds cool. Um, that one started to pop up here and there now. I only saw it like twice. Oh, well, these, these are Shin Misha Gundam Mark II, I think. They look cool. Yeah. Samurai, yeah, those are. I think those first show. Well, I don't know. They were like a, a big part of um, the Dynasty Warrior series. I know that. Obviously, like, look at them. So, like, the, the soundtrack that's playing right now. 
Yeah, that's like one of the ones that I'd be worried the DMCA would would would, would stop. Because this is like ripped right from the show. Yeah. So I guess it all depends, you know, how they go yeah, about Yeah, it probably depends it. on the label or whatever they're called. Yeah. Whoever, whoever produced it, right? All right? I don't know how bad Bandai is with their stuff. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. And like I said, I'm not a copyright copyright law expert at all, so I don't really know how it all generally works. Like it might only be like recorded artist music. Yeah, not like soundtrack. Music. Yeah, because like the video that I watched today that I threw in Discord was all like, you know, like Metallica for example, like that kind of right. stuff. Not yeah. not in-game soundtracks. Well, well, when they say in-game soundtrack, they mean like Grand Theft Auto V's in-game soundtrack because it's like literally songs. Because it's just music, yeah. Right. Oh, if you didn't know, you can, um, you, cool. you can, um, in your photograph mode, you can get, you can activate your ability. Like my chest, how it opens up my shield. You can actually take the picture with it. Open up like that. Yeah. You can like transform. Yeah. I didn't, I, I saw someone else do it. Then I looked into how to do it. It's just, you hold down the start button or the option button, I believe. So the original Musha Gundam originated in an old ass manga called Playmo Kyoshiro, which was like the Gundam Breaker stuff with Gunpla battling, except just plastic models in general, not just Gunpla. Oh, okay, that's cool. I did not know that. So the first time that I saw it would have been in uh, Dynasty Warriors then. Where's that lance from? Oh, you're still returning to base. Yeah, I was looking at my stuff. You can look at my weapon too, just hit that one. Oh. Oh, uh, I actually don't know if I have the GN Lance. GN Lance is what it's called. Yeah, it's from Double O. They're mobile. Those uh, two kids that are with us, whatever their names are, their mobile suits yeah. look cool. They do. They look really nice. I like the theme they have with like the orange going on. Mm. And how they match it looks cool. Yeah. All the design and stuff is really cool in this game. You can do a lot of shit. Like my Zaku, I made it all battle damage. So like when you get zoomed up on it, it looks like it's like all chipped up and stuff. It looks really cool. That's cool. I mean, it's the whole part of the game, I guess. Whole point of the game. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, if you get like deep in like the gun, like you, people take Gundam model building, like they make it an art form. Like there's some crazy ass things people right. make out of them. Like I've seen videos, people who make their own molds and make their own parts and stuff. Like it's crazy. Like, yeah, like 3D print chips. So. Yeah. It's really cool. It's like, they're called resin builds. I don't know. I don't really know how it works, but they're really cool. Well, well yeah. I mean, re yeah. I've seen people make stuff out of resin. Yeah. So I'm assuming they just make the mold and fill it with resin, right? I don't know. That'd it looks really cool. This custom part does all I know. Yeah. Um, I've only put together high grade models, which is like the, the easy ones. <laughs> Because uh, it goes, you have high grade, master grade, perfect grade, and there, I think oh, there's okay. real grade too. I think I can't remember, oh, remember how yeah. that works though. I can't remember like I know it goes high grade, master grade, then perfect grade. Then, like I said, real grades in there somewhere. I, I don't remember where that falls. But like going from high grade to master grade. So in high grade, you just put like a bunch of like a few pieces. Like you build the legs, build the arms, that kind of shit. Yeah. Well, in Master Grade, you build the inner frame, and then you build the armor that goes on the middle frame, the, the, the inner frame. Oh, okay. So, like, it's a whole other level, and, like, a lot yeah. of them have, like, fingers and shit that like, they can move, and it's, like, really, uh -huh. they're really cool. I have a Master yeah, Grade like model. Yeah, Yeah, and they're, like, way more poseable. Like, for example, in a high grade model, you have, like, a hand that's open and a hand that's closed. Yeah. Uh, with the Master Grade is you can just move the fingers on it to how you want it to be. Yeah, you can make them hold, like, any kind of weapon. Yeah. Stuff. That's really cool. I never, like I said, I never, I have, I have a master grade Gelgoog. Uh, you probably have seen Gelgoog, Gel, the Gelgoog in this game. I never, never, never built it yet. Uh, it seems like it would take a while. I believe they're, they're larger too, which you'll see in this game because there's, per, there's high grades and master grades in this game. So the units that are a lot taller than us are master grades. Oh, uh, okay. So high grades are 144th, one, one, one forty fourth scale. Yeah, you were talking about that. I forget what, what, uh, master grades are. Slightly larger. That's what we'll go with. Slightly. Yeah. Okay, perfect. 
the O. I hate that unit. I really like it. I don't know, I just don't like it. It's kind of cool in the respect that it has a bunch of hidden arms on it, though. Um, yeah, like my, uh, that, that Zaku build that I have, like all of its yeah. ranged weapons do more damage than like it's, the, like almost the same amount of damage as the axe does. And you can hit faster. Yeah, that makes sense. So among all the non-Gundam plastic models that appeared in Playmo Kyoshiro, they actually had the model, the, the mole from Thunderbirds and the X-Wing from Star Wars. Huh. That's cool. And probably like the other mecha, probably a bunch of super robots. <laughs> Depending on when it came out. Oh, there's cannons. On. Look at that. Why are there cannons around the map? I never saw that before. They were in the last map. The, li the little cannons were? Yeah. Oh. I know they were in that one. Like, like, the, I know they were in the match where we uh, were saving info chain. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the virus is cannons or whatever. Uh, that dude got a big ass sword on his back. To be honest with you, Rondrix, I have no idea who like <laughs> any of those. I like I, I'm not really into like I never really got into like the super robot shows. Uh, too much I have no idea who any of those guys are. Wait, Scope Dog sounds familiar though. I don't know why, but it does. I did play uh what was it called? Super Robot Wars? You ever, you ever heard of those games, RP? I have no idea. They're like uh like grid based tactical like you move your units around the map and like play other stuff mm -hmm. um and they did like super robot wars origins is what i played so, so that's like an original game but like they have a lot of super robot games where you play as like um characters and like mobile like or, like for example mobile suits and like super robots from like a bunch of all those popular shows yeah um that this is what this is what what, what, what ronda rex is talking about is when you think of that because it's like the similar concept Except that they're, they're not meant to be, they're not plastic models in the show, they're like actually like the same units that, as they appear in the shows. But uh, what I was going to say was, I, I believe that Gurren Logan's in, in a couple of them. Cool. Yeah. There's a, at least there's a shit ton of, uh, like, you ever heard of Mazinger? Okay, so that, 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 they have the same aesthetic as like Gurren Logan, like with the like, super robot giant look. Robot yeah. But that's the, my, that's my only experience in Super Robots was from like those games. And do you remember the game? Or I'm sorry, the show where it was um a dude in a suit who would get in his giant robot that had like machine gun arms, and then he would punch them. It was on Toonami. Machine gun arms and punch them. Yeah, like he had like an ability where like it was like a, a piston on the back of the arm where it would like slam forward. Dude, I, is it called? Was it? Oh, what the uh, fuck was it called? I'll look it up. I'll, I'll look it up. It's gonna bother me. The guy in Rusty? <laughs> no. no. Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. Cause you definitely have seen the show. Cause it was on Toonami like when we were, like around like the era of like Dragon Ball Z and everything. Whenever that was yeah. on. Yeah. 
I keep wanting to say it's called the O, but it's not called that because that's a mobile suit. <laughs> no, there was a show called Big O or something. Wait, that's what it was, Big O. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Hold on. I think that's what it was. Wait, is, this, is the match over? I don't, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I don't, I don't think I've really watched it, but there was a show okay, called Okay, so that, that was another one that was in one of those games that I was going to say. I, I, I thought you may have watched it before because it was on Tsunami. No, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, it was, not the O, Big O. That's right. I like these dual swords from the Susano. They look cool. Oh yeah, they look really cool. Yeah. Oh, I got I that some, lance. Uh, I have some double-sided tridents. They look, look pretty cool. Not a big trident guy. They just look neat. I haven't used them yet. Rommel's Grimoire Red Bird. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Rondrix, I do know what you're talking about. I, I watched, I watched um, a little ha over half of Build Divers. I never finished it, which I'm going to go back and finish it because I heard the new, the new Build Divers series is actually really good. Um, I know you, I know what you're referring to. Then, see, so yeah, I know what they look like. I don't think I want to do anything with this guy. I think he's good the way he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got all kinds of purple stuff. I'm assuming it's going to become more commonplace the further in we get. Probably. I think orange. I, it's probably. Like, I think orange and Diablo is legendary, correct? Orange and Diablo. I think so. Yeah. So I think orange yeah. might be considered legendary, quote unquote, gear in this. Is it the highest one black? Is that what it is? The highest color. I have literally no clue. To be honest. Because well, if you, you get, if you go to sort them, you can sort by rarity. Yeah. And then you can pick what you want to oh, see. Oh yeah, there's like, a color code. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. there. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I I don't know. There's one beyond the orange one. Oh okay. I think well, it's just like a. Well, that makes sense. Right? That makes sense. That there would be because I think even in Diablo, there's something beyond the orange, right? There's like the there's green. ancient. There's green. Oh, green. Right, right. Well, green sets. That's the set. Yeah, I guess so. But yeah, there are ancient weapons. And stuff. Yeah. So there's probably Which something that Build Divers has an English dub now, by the way, and unlike the English dub for Build Fighters and Build Fighters Try, dub, uh, build di or Divers dub is actually good. Okay, I was gonna say, when you said that, I'm like, I was like, I, Build Divers dub was not very good, from what I remember. Uh, but if you, but uh, I'll have to give, I'll give the dub a shot if it's uh, actually good on this one. Cause I watched, I really enjoyed the original uh, Build Fighters and Build Fighters Try. But I watched it all in Japanese. And I think that's mostly because whenever it came out on, whenever it was, the YouTube series was coming out, it wasn't um, in English at that time. But I think the DVDs that I, that I have the Blu-rays of them, I'm pretty sure those have the English dub on them. Are you watching Iron Blood Orphans and subbed or dubbed? Dub. Ugh. Yeah. What's good? What's wrong? I don't know. I never, I never watched the dubs. So I don't know if it's good or bad. Is Yuri Lowenthal in it? We're just gonna judge. <laughs> He probably is. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard any characters I don't like yet. That's good. I mean, you met... There's a lot of characters in the show, but you met, like, the core team already. Well, yeah, but I met a bit, bunch of different like, teams. Like, it jumped around all kinds of different groups. All, of all, of the, uh, all of the kids are, like, the that's basically the, the squad for the show. So they're, like, the main characters. Yeah. And that expands. Well, awesome. It expands a little bit, but... They were showing like the rich guys, and there was the guy who saw his daughter. Rommel and the divers English dub is voiced by Patrick Seats. What is uh? What else? Who else does he voice? Ronderix. For some reason, it's become an occurring theme that me and our people look up voice actors all the time because I always think that I hear somebody from a show I've watched. And I mean that the I don't think the uh, the dub community is actually that big. Like I don't think there's that many voice actors that do it really. Because I know like Amuro from the original Mobile Suit Gundam is Setsuna from Double uh, O, and like that voice actor appears in a lot of shit.
What I think is crazy is some people like know the Japanese voice actors. Like I don't. Just by their voice. Yeah, and like, I'm like I never have any clue. Like if there's repeats of Japanese voice actors. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the only one that would probably be iconic is Goku. Like, I feel like that'd be an easy one to pick out. Because if you've yeah. ever heard Goku in Japanese, yeah, it's pretty. It's like so different unique, compared like, to the yeah. English version. It's like, yeah, com sure. which is which, what. Uh, speaking of that, which is kind of impressive, the 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 sub for the original Mobile Suit Gundam, the characters, like the way they like their their Japanese voice actors, sound eerily similar to the English dub version. Oh yeah. Like like Shar and Amra, at least the two main characters, they're Japanese voice actors. Like if you like play the sub to the dub, they sound like almost the same person, which is really cool. Cause usually there's like a stark difference between right. between them. I think the only thing I kind of noticed, I, I watched a lot of One Piece, then, so that was up. There's a lot of One Piece. <laughs> yeah, so if I hear some of their voices in Japanese, I can kind of be like, oh, that's... Who that that makes sense. Yeah, after 700 yeah. Or, or plus episodes of hearing right, that yeah, same voice. Yeah, after hundreds of episodes. Yeah. I think it actually happened because I was watching sports. One of the kids, yeah, he was voiced by the guy who was from. I was like, wow, his voice sounds crazy. That's actually that's pretty cool. The craziest voice actor thing that I've ever had happen so far, where I like picked up a voice, was when, when I was trying to play Final Fantasy 13 2, and the little kid that you meet at the beginning of the game is the voice actor for Naruto. Oh, really? It's like what the fuck? Like one of the like, the big three anime voice actors voices a random kid. Like not even like the yeah. kid didn't even have a name. Like it was like kid one. <laughs> and it was Naruto's voice actor. Is that guy's name? Do you know who that voice actor is, RP? I don't. I only know Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal because he's in everything ever. It's true, yeah. That is the only reason I know who it is. Because he's, uh, he's Sasuke. He is... Uh, who else was he? We just talked about this. Oh, he's that he's the character from God Eater 3. Yeah, yeah he was a guy. Um, he's also Spider-Man in that Spider-Man PS4 game. Yeah. Um... I don't know. Sasuke's voice appears everywhere. He's in all kinds of shit. Oh, what's this? I never got on this guy before. The Mega Rider. Um, oh. Is that Metric Seat? Yeah. He was. Agil? Sword Art Online? I think, yeah. I think he, was the, he was the black guy who was the. Blacksmith dude? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's him. Based on the picture. Oh. All right, there you go. That's who he was then. Uh, he was a One Punch Man. You watch that. Thing. I watched One Punch Man. Season two? No. Oh. He oh. was um. He was Tank Top Master. Season so, two. Huh. Oh wait, he's in God Eater. Is there someone's daughter named Johannes? Maybe. I don't know. I never played Xenoblade. I heard actually that was off topic, obviously. But you mentioned oh, Xenoblade. He was Jiren in Dragon Ball. Oh, okay. Yeah. But what about Xenoblade? I, I heard it's good. That's all I was gonna say. The, the uh, remaster just came out for Switch. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lot of fun. I think they're kind of big games. Um, because there's a is it Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and then the original just got remastered, I believe. He's in he's Endeavor. My hero. Who is he? Endeavor. Oh, okay. Yep, I yeah. know who it is. That's kind of what I was looking for. Um, yes, you know, Johan is my bad. Chronicles, right? What? You know, Chronicles? Yes. Yeah, this must be one. That's what, that's what Shulk's from. Right? He's, yes, yes. Yeah, that's Shulk. The only reason I know who Shulk is is because of, uh, Smash Bros. Right.
Whoa. That's not how that was supposed to work. So the main character in Japan in the movie Red Line was also voiced by Patrick Seitz. What is Red Line? I don't know. I never saw it. A movie. Whenever you finish Iron Blooded Orphans RP, you gotta watch Evangelion. Oh, do I? Yeah, and then tell me if you know what happened. What? You hurt me. Let me know if you know what happens. And what? Evangelion. After you watch it, because you're not gonna know what happens, because it makes no sense. Well, why would I watch it? Because it's actually really good. It makes you like, it like burns, you'll, you'll get burned out. Like I said, when I watched it, I got burned out from watching it. Dude, wait, do I have a stun ability or do you have a stun ability? Um, I have a slowdown ability. Is that what a stun is in this game? No. Because something is stunning them. Like they're 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 like getting stunned constantly. Maybe did I put something on my sword that does it? Is it one of the other? Things? I don't know. Bro, oh, JP is the character name. My bad. What'd you say? It was? I thought JP used it for Japan. Oh. Red and purple. Interesting color scheme. Uh, red lines like Gurren Logan meets F Zero. That's pretty cool. A high speed Gurren Logan. And wacky races. And wacky races. <laughs> I didn't realize Gurren Logan was that. It's only 27 episodes. That's it. I think there's a movie also. I haven't watched it. Does the movie like, is it like, is that how the show ends with the movie or is it like separate? I have no idea how to watch it. I'll have to look it up. Gurren Lagann movies are retellings of the story. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's how even that's similar to how Evangelion does it. So you have like the original show, and then you have the end of Evangelion, which is the like movie that ends the show. But there's also okay. a bunch of movies they release that is like a retelling of the original show, which I guess is like the Cliff Notes version. I guess if you didn't yeah. want to watch, I think it's only twenty something episodes. It's not that long. Except improved endings. Hmm. The guy. This is a random fact. I saw the other day. Cause it was like the anniversary of it. The guy who made, who wrote Evangelion, also wrote the new Godzilla movie. That was in Japan. That's pretty neat. Shin Godzilla. I never saw it, but apparently it's pretty good. I haven't seen it. Either. Which is cool. It came when I say new, it's like been out for a while now. Yeah, it's been like a Yeah, but it's like a whole different design for Godzilla. Did you like team up with guys or something? Godzilla? Yeah, is that what happened? Uh, not in that movie. Not in that movie. Awesome. Did you actually have you seen any of the newer Godzilla movies that came out here? No, uh there's I there was um with Donald Brian Cranston in it and then the, the sequel to that? No, Alright, so there Alright, so, so, so people don't really like them. Um the first one is not that great because like Godzilla's screen time is like not a enough. Right. Like they keep like they'll like show his tail like he's rounding a corner and you'll see his tail. That's pretty bad. Like that kind of shit. But yeah. but the problem that I, people did, apparently didn't like the new one either. I thought the new one was really good. Like it was a hundred percent entertaining from the beginning to end. Um and you saw Godzilla a lot more and it had like uh, King Ghidorah in it and um do you know like about Godzilla like you ever watched the movies? No, I haven't. Oh, never mind then. I was a like a Godzilla nerd when I was really little. Like I my my mom had like all the old like VHS tapes. 
Yeah. And I watched all of them. So I like, I'm cool. a big fan of Godzilla for whatever reason. All right, hold on. I got to check something on my computer real quick. Oh, I got some gold ass legs. You're going to get memory complaints. It's Chrome. No, it's not Chrome. I need to move some videos real quick to my other hard drive. Or to my hard drive from my solid state. Real quick, huh? Well, I'm just going to start it and get keep playing. It's the power of the 1080p video. I got some new legs. V2 Assault Buster Gundam. They're gold. Alright, that should be enough. Okay. Put those on. Worst case scenario, the recording might get all messy and I'll just download it from, from Twitch. So, not a big deal. <laughs> Okay, I think I am not gonna upgrade anything. So, who the next mission is? I may have upgraded a little too far in okay. my in my playing around. Well, th these don't seem very hard. Like I'm, we're doing a lot of damage. Um, but it, then again, it's on standard difficulty, so maybe that's part of it. it probably is. Hold on, I'm putting some new legs on. But I also don't know if this game is known for being quote unquote hard. It's not. Because if I go, if when I was, I did some arena matches against some uh, player made units and I was getting like one shot, so I'm not that overpowered. Well, yeah, compared to other players. Well, because right. like they're worth um, different varying amounts of GP, so I picked like the lower GP ones because that's supposed to be weaker and they still kicked my ass. Well, I, I won just because I'm a not an AI, so I could like oh, okay. heal and shit and like abuse the system essentially and win, but um. Oh, you changed the color? That's new, right? The yellow? I, I, put, I put some new legs on. I, I gotta paint them still. I wonder how quickly it up. What's that backpack you have on? Is that the the, X, the Gundam X backpack or something like that? It's called? Yeah, they're like called X Wings or something. So I think that has a, uh, a burst ability associated with it. Does it? Maybe. Because there's a giant cannon. You might have to have the cannon. Is there a cannon attached to it? I don't know about a cannon. Wait, on the back, I can see them. There's oh. those two cannons that flip around. Is that what they do? Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure there's an EX. There's a there's abilities associated. Hold on, let me look at my my, um, my hanger real quick. I'm pretty sure there are abilities associated with it though. So um, they might not be unlocked yet, but they definitely are. Okay. Um, where are we at? Okay, so maybe they're just not unlocked yet. Twin satellite cannon. Yes, those things. Yes, that 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 is the ability I was thinking of. Okay, so that's my burst action. Right. Okay. That makes, yeah. Uh, instead of that big sword, I get twin satellite. Cannon. That's what I I was looking the wrong place. I thought there might be a regular attack to it too, but apparently not. Receives microwaves from the moon. Yeah. Yeah. You like charge up. That's pretty cool. Put that on. Yeah. You should put it on. Just sounds cool. Yeah, it's a uh, and I never watched uh, Gundam X before, uh, but yeah. I watched Build Fighters and one of the characters in it has that backpack on, and he literally like like he flies in front of the moon and charges up to fire the cans. Pretty, cool. It's a cool concept. Yeah, I don't have anything new for my. I don't have any burst abilities yet. Brandon uh, and I have so, on sadly. The psycho frame gives me okay. NT slash D. Yeah, new type destroyer. That's what I have. Okay. That's well, transform to be into destroy mode. So, and I, I believe the way it works is if you have parts that can quote unquote transform, when you activate that, they will transform. That's okay. That's that's what that means. Yes. Like that's why my chest opens up and my my shield opens up. Yeah. And like there's other parts that do that. Like there's the the banshee's arm. Like there's like a an arm for the banshee. The that opens up into like a giant claw. Mm. So. The Noble Gundam head might give you something too. I'm not um, sure though. Have ability? I think Noble Gundam gets super mode. 
Maybe. What is, what is Super Saiyan? Essentially, in G Gundam, they go into Super Saiyan. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Super Tribune. But it might be your chest. Like, it might be the chest of the Noble Gundam that gives you that. I could yeah. be... I, I don't remember. It probably is, actually. Um, do, I, do I have a Strike Freedom backpack? That's the wings I had on. Well, no. It might not be the wings I had on. Actually, we talked about that earlier. Remember, you, well, yeah, you can only choose one. Yeah, what you call it. Yeah. So I think you should keep the, the, the Gundam X backpack on. It looks cool. They do look cool. I just wanted to see if I had any. I don't... Can I, like, sort by them or something? Uh, if you go to sort, you can select... Um, let me see. What are you looking for? The Strike Freedom. Okay, so Noble Gundam Torture has the Berserker system. That's right. Okay, that's what happens in the show. Okay, she does not get Superman. She gets Berserker because she goes crazy. Oh, I wonder if you do that if your hair and stuff go... Okay, that actually could be really cool. If you put on, if you had the Noble Gundam chest. Um, what am I oh, doing? Do the chest? Oh, if you go into Sword RP, which, what part are you looking for real quick? Tell me again. The, the Strike Freedom. So, if you go down to Series. Yeah. And go to, it's all the way to the right. It's the second one from the right on the second row. It says Mobile Suit Gundam Seed, Seed MSV, and okay. Seed Stargazer. Sort by that. And then, oh, sorry, and select Seed Destiny, the one beside it. It's in one of those. Oh, wait. Yeah, it should be this. Not not the Astray stuff. It's after it. Yeah. Strike Freedom? Is that what it's called? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I have a couple of those. Super Dragoon Mobile Weapon Wing. Okay. Those are pretty cool too. I'm gonna label those. Boost. Auto repair is pretty cool. That's neat. It's almost those are so nice. The the way the the way the uh two allies we have right now. Yeah. They look they have like line work and shit on theirs. Like I wonder how you maybe it's the parts that have that. Like do you see like all the little designs and shit that are over it that make it look more mechanical? Yeah. Like I don't think I have maybe just the parts I have selected aren't like that. I don't know, it looks really they look really cool. But they're also the legs. Yeah. They're also like the game created ones so they probably right. are put a lot, had a lot more work put into them get to go to work tomorrow yeah me too join the club Samurai Squad. Oh, that combo is nice. Easy enough. Silver squad. They all silver? Well, I'm a promise silver at least. I want to make a sniper 
Gundam build. That'd be cool. Because I was watching a video of someone using the shoot mode that I never yeah. use ever. And uh, you can, it actually looks kind of cool if you do it right. Snipe guys. Yeah. I think it was Chaos Wolf who said he did a build last time we were playing. They're like they focused yeah, around sniping. Yeah. And there are def there are skills you can get that increase your damage in shoot mode. So you could somehow do it, I think. Like go invisible and snipe people. Well yeah, I mean, you get a bunch of ranged DPS up stuff too. Yeah. It would be long rifle DPS, I believe, specifically. That was called. Yeah. So like if you see them, like if you oh, have no. like for example melee DPS, that applies yeah. to hand weapons. Right. I, I was I was under the misconception before that that was like just melee fighting like like sword accounted for everything. It is only for hand based weapons and claws, which are pretty neat. Yeah. Have you used them yet? Well, no, but I had a melee DPS on my build before, and it was it, it actually wasn't doing anything for me. Oh shit! Don't give you any more attack? Oh, that's cool. It's like a dark that guy's real cool. wing Gundam with like double O thing going on. That's actually badass. Oh, you haven't seen the Endless Walls version of Wing Zero yet. That's that's his wings he has on. It's pretty cool. We haven't fought a perfect grade in a long time. What is the Gundam you're looking at? The big guy, the little guy. The big guy looks like a double O wing Gundam endless waltz hybrid. Yeah. I think I have this funnel thing you were talking about. Now. Um. Well, what do you mean you think? Yeah, then. Well, I think I can shoot them out and then fly around. Uh, you have to you have to put on the optional ability to use them. Yeah, I can put an optional ability on. Yeah. VSVR. 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 Uh, mm, do you know what unit? Oh god, it's doing the, the spinny thing that Wing Gundam does. Uh, I don't. I don't know what those are actually. I know the the acronym. I can see. I. I I'm not sure what it does though. I don't, I don't think they're funnels. If you would tell me what what Gundam they're from, I could tell you what they do probably. Yeah. This thing is pretty badass looking. I agree. This is cool. This is a cool design. I didn't like. I like the the particle effect on the feathers. Yeah. Maybe we'll get the wings. No, nope, just plastic. Got a whip optimizer. Oops. I what what is this message system? I don't want that. Go away. Oh, I got a, a spear. I won't try to say that name, I'll butcher it. Gundam Dynamis, give it Oh, age. Ooh, if you put on, these are cool, if you put on the Jack Doga arms, quest, well, quest is Jack Doga arms, you get six funnels with it. Pretty cool. That's cool. Oh, these look cool, what, the, what are those? Nothing. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce those two names. <laughs> They're from my legs. Which I think I think the VSBR oh, are those gun. are cannons. Are they? What are they from? My legs are assault buster gun. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure they're can. Pretty sure they're cannons. I'm looking at you right now. You have them on right now. Yeah. Thermal on your optional equipment. I think they're range weapons though. I I was using them. Were they leaving your body? They were. Really? Yeah. I have no idea what they are then. <laughs> they, they look like your funnel things, but they were flying around the enemy. Shooting them. Unless, yours, do yours do that too? Yeah. Um, are you sure you weren't looking at mine? Maybe I saw yours. Alright, when we get in the next match, you use the ability right off the start and I'll tell you what it, what it does. I will. I think you saw mine flying around.
Also, I think we're in the finals. Already? I think. What mission what, what number are we on? I don't know. The, the, the next one. <laughs> oh. I kind of wish we could see everybody's watch the box. All right, where are you at? Right here. Do it. Wait, yeah, after, after this loading screen? That's an interesting concept. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep, guns. So, okay, you'll, see, you'll, see, mine, you'll see mine flying around now. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah. They just randomly, they, I don't believe they lock onto the target I'm looking at. They just go around the enemies all over the place. Yeah. Ooh. Came to help. Thanks. Do you like the lance better than the uh, dual blades you were using? Uh, not yet. Once you get the second tier of skills, you might like it better. Maybe. Because like you have the super stabby skill. The one that stabs real fast. Yeah. Yeah. The second I version is really a lot cooler than the first version. Is it? Yeah. Look, they're actually defending our core. They're like standing right beside it. Oh, we actually. You can't command AI, can you? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't believe you can. Oh my God. Oh, there's four armor Gundam. Oh, there's also specific skills for Gatling guns, too. I didn't know that until I found out today. I thought they would just fall under machine gun classification. Different, huh? Yeah, every, every different weapon type has two skills associated with it. Well, two base skills and then two advanced skills. That was super zoomed in. What what we even what is this guy? Uh, Gundam GPO3. Oh wow, you can. Okay, there are AI controls. Thanks, Rondrix. Yeah, um after oh. this I got an I got an uh, execute death stream attack. That's funny. I got an achievement for that. Um, after this match, you can join us. Did you see how to command the AI, the AI RP? Uh, if you click the touchpad and then click up for instruction, you can tell them what to do. Okay. I don't know if it applies to you right now, uh, but you can just sit FYI, FYSA as they say at work. You know what FYSA stands for? They do it. They did it at AAC too. For your situational awareness. Oh, I never heard that. Yeah. But the first time I saw it, I was very confused because I had no idea what that acronym would be for. We always just went off the news with no. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, Rondrix. 
I mean, as you can see, we're not really having uh, too much trouble right now anyway. We're not one-shotting things, but we're not exactly getting stuck fighting anything either. It's a very silly design, though. That's all right. I'm curious to see what it looks like now. Okay, that, that Zagok actually looks kind of badass. The middle one? Yeah. Those are amphibious mobile suits, RP. So they're meant to be in the water. Yeah, they're meant to be in the water. Are all those exclamation points turrets? Is that what's going on here? Uh, maybe. I think they are. Oh my god. Oh no. Perhaps running into all three of them at the same time wasn't the best idea. Oh shit, he has a GM field too. That's badass. Alright, I like this little I like this Zagok build, it's cool. Ega arms, ball, torso, cannon with a cannon on its head, mobile worker leg, GNX backpack, and crossbow next one's anti beam killing mantle. I can only, I can't wait to see it. I didn't know the ball was in this game. That's cool. Well, I mean, I guess it's cool. I don't know, I don't know how useful it actually will be. Oh, we're gonna have to fight him again, I think. Uh, oh, we're so close! Wait, they're not spawning. Okay, I guess not. Takes a while to charge up, but these cannons are cool. That's your EX burst ability, right? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, you're not supposed to be able to... to uh, balls of DLC part? Okay, that makes sense. But you're not supposed to be able to spam the twin cannons. Yeah, that makes I sense. didn't see it. What did it look like? Was it just a big blast? Basically, my cannons were flipped up and then a big beam came down from the sky. Oh, dude, there's the Psycho Zaku. Look at this thing. Things that Over here oh, with, with me. The big giant. Yeah, with the giant backpack. <laughs> Let me know next time you're gonna use it. I wanna see it. Cause I'm kind of zipping around with paying attention. Oh, what we got? Uh, the GPO3 again? Yeah. yeah. Once I finish Iron Blood Orphans, I can make those. So, it will, the only thing that I, I'm pretty sure of right now is that the last version of Gundam Barbado, Barbados, as Mika says, um, is not in this game. Oh. And that version so badass, and it sucks that it's not in this game. Um, it also has, I, I believe, I don't believe, um... Nightbot ninja you right after your message, if you missed it. Um, what did Nightbot do? Did it... Out of curiosity. Did you post a link or something and it, and it said no? Honestly, don't even. Oh, just push. Oh, push your. Oh, I'm sorry. I hear you, man. Yeah, I saw. I saw your ball to the DLC part. I was gonna say. I think I might have my bot set to to time out or to delete certain messages. But I don't remember now because I set it up a long time ago and never looked at it again. Oh, you can have a triple. I see it now. I'm sorry. I did miss it. Um, the triple ball totem thing. That's hilarious. What the hell? What? Oh, this is a random thing they let you do. Oh, 
Wait till you see what the ball is, RP. I've seen the ball. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, wait. You, some. you like Big Zam, so you saw it. So you saw it. Yeah, there was some kind of fighting game I watched these two guys play. Yeah. One guy just kept picking Big Zam. Oh, wait. Was it, um... It was, um... Was it old, like an older game? Yeah, it was like a PS1. It was a uh, Mobile Suit Gun and Battle Assault. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, or Battle Assault 2. Either one. They're both... Either, either one would have worked. It, I think the ball is in Battle Assault 2. Those games are really good. They're all PS1 games. They look like it's like a fun play. I was... I, that was... I played them when I was little, so I was not good at them at all. Um, I'm not good at fighting games. I think I have Battle Assault. Yeah, it's right over there. I have, I have like an old PS1, or like a stack of PS1 games, and like a like a little CD case thing. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I have gone to Battle Assault in it, and my PS1's right here. I like this Lance Bomb though. Like when you finish your light attacks, it like knocks up the enemy. Oh, that's cool. You jump, and you can jump into your heavy attacks and you fly around the. It's thinner guys as well. Yeah. I guess I was meant to be used. Oh, it, there's a chest. Nah, uh, you just lost some plastic. It's fine. Plastic's important. You didn't need the plastic anyway. You should have. You should have like an exorbitant amount of plastic. I wouldn't say that much. Also, make sure you're using the stronger plastic as we get higher, because it costs less to upgrade. <laughs> Look at these bears. Wait, what is that from, Ronderix? I've never heard of that before. That is wild, though. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Some bear guy, of course. Yeah, fucking bear guy. <laughs> it's a play on NBA not, guy. You not like bear guy? Nah, I don't. I mean, it's fine, I guess. I almost bought a bear guy model once. <laughs> I missed. That bear guy has a, a death scythe scythe. Alright, I'm gonna do my attack. Okay, okay yeah, do it. Comes. Oh, that's cool. It actually charges up with the moon. That's badass. Yeah. I like that. Oh shit. Should've been hitting the core. They were coming. They're back. I like that though. That's better than the generic sword ability. Yeah, look at me. It's introducing the crossbow manga. Oh, okay. Um, am I correct? Is crossbow part of the Universal Century timeline? Do you know? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It has to be because based off, of, yeah, crossman is UC. Okay, that's what I thought. So I've only watched like the anime for for mobile, the various Mobile Suit Gundam uh, series. I've never actually read any Gundam manga before. Very very good. I have the uh, the first five books of the Origin series. They're like hardback books. They're, they're actually pretty nice. I never actually read them though. It's the original nope. One Year War timeline, so it's the same thing as the anime covers. Okay. But they're they're really nice. Like the artwork and everything in them. Yeah. And then yeah, I also have like it. two or three issues of Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. That I like if I give, if I go to Barnes and Noble and they're there, I'll grab them. <laughs> yeah. And then put them on a shelf and never and never read them. Oh, I got an extended ghost. Ghost Edge is the ability where all the swords fly around me. Oh, okay. And I got a cube that extends it. That ability seemed really strong. It is. It's just more constant damage. Pick everything up. Get that score up, RP. Oh, I got big gun from the Psycho Zaku, Zaku head. The beginning. Oh, I'm gonna put that Psycho Zaku head on my Zaku build. And then I'll get the big gun ability. Which That's I'm assuming it fires a big gun. 
pretty good guess. We'll yeah, I, I thought it was. Rare guy backpack. There you go. Does it have the bow on it? No. It doesn't look very impressive. Do you have one? Uh, bear guy backpack? Yeah. It's probably not impressive because it's the egg guy backpack. Oh, wait, what, what is on there with it? Is that a, a beam sword of some sort? What the fuck uh -huh. is that? It's like, a ba it's like an actual backpack. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So the optional equipment is backpack unit, whatever that means. Oh, it's a flute. I wouldn't have guessed that it was a flute. <laughs> oh. It's a beam cannon, that's pretty cool. えっと、日本人ファイターメンバー。Oh, Rokuto is their the third member to their squad. Okay, I remember who it is now. I did not know Bear Guy had a flute beam cannon, to be honest with you. My only experience with Bear Guy is from the Build Fighter series. Okay, so Ronderix, if you want to join us, what do you need to know? Um, the password is capital G, capital T for the room, if that helps you find us. <laughs> I can forcibly remove RP. You got a minute to join. I'm going to try to do something real quick. Load my Zaku. Let's see if we have that head. I don't know if we unlocked the, psychos if we, the psycho Zaku head dropped or not. I bet it didn't. I have a gold bear guy head. Wow. Hold on, let's uh sort by thunderbolt. Oh, well, that was just Zaku too. I don't believe we did yet. Not yet. I'm looking. God, damn it, I don't think it dropped. That sucks. Oh, wait, it did drop. I just can't read. Does that look derpy? Kind of derpy. What's that? This Psycho Zaku head. It, like, doesn't look as good as the other one. No, it's missing a couple things. It, like, is flatter, I guess? Um, I'm gonna use it. Okay, Rondrix, you're good. I'm gonna try it out. What if I pair merge it with my other head? What if? Well, there's no going back now, because I no longer have <laughs> my other head, so I guess I'm using this one. Shit, did I get all the abilities? Magnetic coating and blade antenna. Are those not working on it? Oh, anyways, let's make it level 12. I'm going to use my Zaku next match. So what I was saying, RP, with plastic, so like you see I'm in, I'm in regular plastic right now. Yeah. It yeah. costs like 100 to upgrade it, and that costs 26,000 GP. Expensive. So if you go down, I don't know if you knew this or not. If you go to like, you use like 11 of high quality, it only costs 5,500. Because the cost yeah. goes up per per piece of plastic, I guess. Even though it's like better plastic. For, I well, yeah, but, but it levels you up faster too. Correct. So I'm not sure. I mean, you would think that the, more, the better plastic would cost more to use. But I, I guess that's not the how that works. Apparently not. Apparently not. All right. Let me... uh. Not do what I'm doing. That that would have been. Oh no! What did I do? Oh no! What'd you do? Oh no! Painted it the wrong color. Oh no! It's Christmas. 
That's cool. It says you're painting. Oh, oh really? I got a new gun. Let's see it. I want to see my new gun. Let's... Oh, I got a gold. Uh, the, so, Ronrix, the password is just capital G, capital T. Correct. Very complex password right now. Wait, what am I coloring? No. Oh. What are you coloring? It's just like the little nose part. I kind of want to make that gray. What that looks like. Do that. Oh, hold on. I'll fix that. I know what it was. I'll change the party settings. Give me one moment to finish making this guy color coordinated. Switching over to a beam rifle. Beam rifle version two. Yeah, I'll fix that. Oh, I got a bear head. <laughs> That's funny. All right, one second. Let me just finish up this paint and then I'll come fix it. I wonder if there's a way to save paint settings. Um, or like all the gauges and stuff. Yeah, like you can save um like the color yeah, you schemes. Can save colors. I yeah, saved the color schemes. I just didn't save. I I didn't have the. I just wondered if you could save the. These these bars. Yeah. Okay. I think I don't care about emblems right now. Parts. I like buying the builder parts for cosmetic stuff. Let me just make sure there's nothing new there. Okay. Then put on big gun. Okay, let me go change that limit. I guess that being that it was password protected, I didn't need to put on a build build thing. Yeah, you probably don't need that. I think I believe that you said that at the beginning also. More B Gundam lore. Umon lost control of the B Gundam once due to daydreaming, and Xeon subsequently thought it was the head of the real Gundam, which caused Gato to leave his position, allowing Amuro to slip through. And when Umon came, they maneuvered the B Gundam between allies and debris, so while Xeon was like a little bigger than it actually was, really for Xeon to be as big as it was. No shit. Huh. That's actually kind of interesting. I didn't. That's like some deep lore you got going on right there. Alright, so let's save this design. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, go ahead and join whenever you can, Rondrix. I got a pain in my gun by accident. Did I paint anything else green that wasn't supposed to be green? I don't think so. Uman Semon is also a self-proclaimed new type. Huh. I don't believe that's how that works. Okay. Oh, that's the arena. We don't want to do arena matches. Right now, at least. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Look at this thing, RP. Are you there, RP? Yeah, can you hear me? Look at this thing. All right, well, I gotta turn my camera. Whoa! <laughs> it has the ball of his chest piece. That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, we are on chapter four. Oh, we're, wait, we're, we just, we're in the GBTA three finals. Now we're in the GBTA four qualifiers. Oh. That's an appropriate name, what?
Should look at the new suits for your guy. Oh shit, we unlocked new suits? Yeah. Can I shop? I oh, I can't shop now. Next time. Or not. Just real quick. Oh, look at that one. That one's cool too. That one's really cool. What are you looking at? Are you looking at suits right now or something? No, there's a new, he put up a new Gundam. Oh, all right, hold on one second. Let me- For a Gunpla. Well, yeah, I mean, you wanna get semantics, I guess. They're technically they're models, so. Wait, I don't have any new suits. You don't have any new ones? Hold on. The the, the, the Omni, the Zaf, and the, those the, ones are new. I had those already. Oh, you look at them already. You don't like any of those ones? Oh, that's kind of that's bad. What is his head? What is going on it looks there? Looks really cool. I like the shoulders, got giant warps. Wait a second, is that um? I keep hitting the wrong, but we're going up and down, up and down. Is that the horse that Master Gundam rides? Oh, that's cool. It's a horse. Yeah. That was a dog. Demolition knife. Gundam Astaroth. Hmm. Badass. That thing's really cool. That's wild that you can get the head of. Can you wait? You can't get the whole horse, can you? Or can you, can you just get the head? Or, or how's that work? Oh, the rest of the leg part. So you can be a a centaur, gunpla RP. Look at that sword. What sword? The one on the the guy over here. The one um, he has equipped. Yeah. It, did, did, yeah. Did you, did you hit that one and look at his equipment? Yes. Yeah. Why is it, that sword is ex, extremely long? It's like off the yeah, screen. It's cool. Tsunami slash. That sounds cool. Brown boy. <laughs> it's a Kapool, but it's like a samurai Kapool. That's pretty cool, actually. I like this guy. Were these the um, pictures we saw the other day? These Gunpla right here? Yeah. Wait, uh, was that the same guy? I don't remember, actually. He was giving us the, the, the imager links. I don't remember. Wait, There's I think it was. Wait, Roderick, were you last like a couple days ago? Were you sending us links to different Gunpla? Yep, that was Roderick. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah. Did you see that? Cool. I think we saw this guy before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's still really cool. Yeah, he looks cool. I don't remember their names to be honest with you, but you showed yeah, us a couple builds. You showed us like a funnel build. I'm pretty sure you just showed us a little green guy you just had up there. Mm -hmm. I want to see what this big gun looks like. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, and I think this like a piece of equ equipment just spawns, and I shoot a big gun. Pretty sure. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah, I've got a beat You do? Yeah. How do you feel about that? I mean, using a ranged good. weapon in this game in general, I guess. I like the bazooka. I didn't really like the. Did you get the upgraded bazooka skills? So there's one ability where you fire like a shot out and um, it like explodes and then it's like an AOE damage. Oh. The upgraded version is wild to that. It looks like one shot and then like like 15 shots burst out. That's cool. Yeah, this guy is definitely not as strong as my um my other Gundam. Gunpla. I mean, maybe the spin to win might be the one redeeming factor. But let me see. I'm doing only about 6k per hit. 
I think I was doing. Well, I also swing slower because it's an axe. It, just, it has a slow response speed. But. That's pretty cool. That is. What is this guy? The Strike Rouge IWSP. Oh, I just got the backpack. I love that you're just a ball with arms and legs floating around, like zooming around. Oh, I didn't even realize you had a cape on. I'm pretty sure yeah. these machine gun floating orbs are way better than any of the funnels in the game. Okay. They do a lot of damage, it seems like. I mean, obviously they're not floating around, so that's the, the drawback, but... Yeah. Do you get to choose which AI we have? Uh, maybe. I know that you can swap out AI for other builds you make. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, like, not, like you swap out, like, for example, if Mises with us, you swap out Mises Azalea for whatever build you give her to use. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Which you might, it might be easier to do missions later on like that if you're playing solo on the harder difficulties. Yeah. So, they, so you they have what you want. Yeah. You want, like, a support guy or something. I like the lance because of the aerial bumpers. Man, you sound like a dragoon. I have a lot of fun with that. Just juggling guys in there. Nope, enemies. I kind of wish they were on screen. I'm gonna break all their parts off. What the hell is going on? What is that ability? The purple. All that's all is purple. Did he grab him like suplex him to the ground? Yeah, the claws have uh, cool. have have like grapple abilities. Yeah. Chest was here for you. Oh wait, you said what did you say? There was a chest. Oh, eh, it was just plastic. Probably plastic. that super rare part you wanted. Probably. <laughs> You have stuff that um, heals your shields per second. That does what? It heals your armor. Heals your armor per second. Uh, not on this guy. I've seen the ability though. If you like got that going like pretty high, I could see that'd be really good. Yeah. I have like um, I think this guy has some abilities on like on on break. He heals. Well, that's pretty handy. Cause I break a lot of parts off with the axe. Right. What is that guy? Who's this man? Dovin Wolf, what are you from? I think you're a one-year war mobile suit, but I'm not sure. That uh that that spin attack right there I just did knocks him in the air and smacks him together above my head. It's cool. Epion's sword is really cool. That's the guy I'm fighting over here. He has the giant green sword. The giant beam oh, saber. Okay. 
So the one thing that kind of sucks, I don't think so. So like for example, the Epion, the the guy I was just talking about with the green sword, he has a transform mode where he turns into like a flying unit. Okay. And I don't think those are in this game, and there's a lot of uh, units that do that, actually. That have like oh, they're called, like, have like flight modes. Can't like all the units fly. What did you say, Arby? Can't all the units fly in the first place? Correct, but they have like 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 they turn into like a plane essentially though. Oh okay. Yeah. Like Epion kind of looks like a dragon hawk thing when it transforms. Yeah. Wing Gundam looks like a bird, sort of, like more traditionally speaking. But like there's other mobile suits from like the One Year War that have like transformations that look more realistic. We'll say. But I don't think the transformations are in the game. Which is surprising because one of the the Zeta Gundam, which I have its head on my red guy, it it kills like the main antagonist of its show by ramming into it in, in flight form. So you think that'd be an ability in the game. This is ridiculous. I'm a Beyblade. I literally turn into a Beyblade. Those double bazookas on my back don't even like do any damage, but they just look cool. Just air yeah. juggle people. If you have four people in, wait, is that you? Oh, that's actually really cool. That's you flying back yeah, and forth, right? Flying yeah. Around, yeah. It's the heavy attack for the lands. Yeah, yeah, Azuki. I, I don't, I don't know if they. Uh, I know like the Banshee Claw is a thing. Like when you go into like um, NTD, it'll open up. But like, I I don't think that a lot of those units get their transformations in the game, sadly. I also watched a video on New Gundam Breaker today. Yeah. That game looks like trash. Oh really? It is like compared to this. Like, yeah. I don't know how you'd ever be able to play it if you played this game. Like, it's it looks so bad. Like, the way you, like, move everything is, like, so... It just seems like they made, like... They got, like, the people who made this game. But, like, paid them a fifth of what they paid them to, to develop this game. Yeah. And, like, half the time. Cause like the combat's like polished, it seems. Like you know what I mean in this game. In this game, yeah. Yeah, and like it all feels like your attacks feel weighted. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... they feel like like actually how you would attack. Yeah. Oh, there's the uh, wing zero. Got the angel wings. Yeah, I think for the most part that's the general consensus for New Gundam Breaker. Um, if you get the chance, though, Izuki, you should play this game. You can buy it on Amazon. Just make sure you get the break edition. And even though it's an older game, it holds up really well. Like, it, the graphics aren't really a big deal because, like, of the style of the game. So you're not looking like for groundbreaking graphics. Are you juggling him that high in the air? Yeah. <laughs> well, there was that, that big purple thing. It's like a gravity suit. Like a... I don't know. I'm assuming that's Rondorix doing that. Because it like sucked him up into the air and then I just kept juggling him. So you think it looks like they tried to take from this game and messed it up? Yeah, I think that's pretty much what happened. And it sucks because it was the first um, localized version of the Breaker series. And it just, they should have just made this game in English, which, I mean, they kind of did. They added all the English text in, but if they were going to localize a game completely, they should have just did this game. Because like I said, like, you're not really, like, the mechanics, everything in this is very, ooh, wait a second. Sorry to break my train of thought. This GN sword has an element on it. Cool. That's the first time I've seen that. Damage. Yeah. Oh, is that, the, is that what you were doing, Rondrix? That was what, he was doing the quantum burst ability. Oh, is that that big purple thing? Yeah, and I forgot to use my big gun. Next time. 
I was spinning to win too much. In the win. Yeah. We got the Droven Wolf Head. Droven? I was under door in there. Droven. Because originally, whenever before I decided to play this game, I was gonna get New Gundam Breaker, just because it was easily available. Um, yeah. But then I found out there was the Break Edition in this game, and I didn't even like go back on it then. Because I wanted to play this game a couple years ago, and the only way to do that would be to buy the Japanese version. And I don't know how anyone ever played this game. I said it before with all the text in Japanese. Because like it doesn't tell you what the half the shit does anyway. But right. then add, add in the fact that it's Japanese and you have no fucking clue what it does. <laughs> yeah. I, I just... Don't know how that would work out. I was very confused for a second there. Rondrix was like under the map, but he was returning to base still. I don't actually know if there's a translation mod. I I'm assuming there's probably a wiki you could have went to before the game came out in English, though, or something. Because I'm, it, 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 for an example of what you're saying right there about the, the making uh, mods for like the, the translation modes or translation mods for different games. Um, I think it was Fire Emblem. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna forget what it's called now. Fire Emblem. Six, maybe? No, six is the first one released in the US, so Fire Emblem 5. I played with the translation mod because it never was released in the US. I think it was, was it Burning Blade? Binding Blade, maybe? Is it? It had Roy in it. Roy was the main character from Super Smash Bros. That was the that was one of the examples. That that's an example of um one of the translation mods though you're talking about. The old visual boy advance. Good emulator. I think solid. It's been solid for. I don't think they even update it anymore, right? You can put it on your phone. I, yeah, my buddy, my, one of my friends is actually playing a DS game. One of the Pokemon on the DS on his phone. That's cool. Yeah. Does he still have two screens? Or? Yeah, so you just split your phone in half. I think Sweet. you can you can actually resize it, like move it around, uh, like yeah, whatever. That's a, so that'd be nice. they're they're becoming more advanced as time goes on. Yeah. I don't know how that would work on computer form. though. Like playing it on your computer, it'd be like I guess you just use the mouse like to like interact with the touchscreen. Um, yeah, if you had to, I guess. I mean, because some of those DS games, the early DS games especially, you have to. Yeah. Like if you would play like Pokemon Ranger. You were, I you, never played those. Oh, okay. So like, do you know the premise for Pokemon Ranger? No. So to catch Pokemon, you don't catch them. You like almost like. Oh, herd, was it like mystery dungeon? Like stuff? heard them almost. It's like they like join your party for like one use kind of thing, but you have to like spin the the uh, the pen around on the screen like so many times, and every circle you make is like a take a take off its health. Okay. It, it's a different. It's very different concept. I'll say that. <laughs> it um, sounds like. It was pretty fun though. Um, it was an early DS game. You change backpacks. I'll see which one you put on to do a silly idea. I can only imagine what you're gonna do. Um, Astral Chain was on sale also. I've heard good things about that game. If you wanted to play that still. Oops, I didn't mean to heal there. It wasn't like half off or anything. Wait, this thing's supposed to be strong. Get on this thing. I have a big gun. Oh, it's on cooldown. I didn't see what back. Wait, I want to see what backpack Rondrix has on. Yeah, I have a actually have a PS2 emulator. Um, that's why I played Xeonic Front a few weeks ago, um, and I actually used the Xeonic Front disc for it, which is nice being able to do that. Because sometimes it's hard to find ROMs for things, and then you have the whole legality issue that people I would want to bring up at some point or another, probably. Of doing that. The only thing that sucks with that is a lot of those older games are you can't if you wanted to buy a physical copy of them now, good luck. Yeah, they're 
Well, that or you can't find them at all. Yeah. I'm glad I got most of the JRPGs I wanted. Physical probably when I did. For example, Federation vs. Xeon is one of my favorite Mobile Suit Gundam games on PS2. Good luck buying that. <laughs> so, unless, unless you'd like, you know, come across it at like a like a, like a old game yeah. store, like Game Vault that we have near us. Even if you do, it'll be expensive. Okay, so you, use the, you just use the mouse to use the touch screen. That makes sense. Do you ever shop at Game Ball RP? I don't. I mean, I have in the past. Yeah. I haven't recently for anything. They actually, um, I got a really cool uh, Gundam model from there. Oh yeah. Um, it was a little expensive. It wasn't a model per se. It was like a, an action figure, but like you put parts of it together. Yeah, um, cool. But I never have seen the, the series before, so they had it. Apparently, they were gonna start getting more. But I have not been in there since I bought that like two years ago. <laughs> I did. I did find out you can pre-order the Magic sets from them. Do you play Magic? Then, yeah, I do. Oh, I didn't know that. And then, and then they get delivered on release day to the store, so you can just buy them on release day. Oh, that's cool. For like, for like the same price as Amazon. Yeah. Uh, Ronder, do you have Dark Finger? Is that what's going on there? The Dark Finger. <laughs> that's uh from G Gundam. It's a uh, Master Gundam's attack. Dark finger, shining finger, burning finger. What are your fingers? So they say finger, but they use their whole hand. Ten fingers. Yeah, one hand, five. Fingers, yeah. I have one of the whip EX actions on the standard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Azuki. I like how, I, the one thing that kind of is interesting, when they translated uh, for G Gundam, so God Gundam became Burning Gundam, and Devil Gundam became Dark Gundam. I wonder, I'm just interesting they went with that. I guess probably because people would get offended by it. Yeah, exactly what you just said. I actually didn't know that it was supposed to be called God Hand and Demon Hand. God Hand was a fun game. What? Oh really? Or God hand you. What's my goodness? Right, right. Okay, oh. chest. Yeah, there's one right in the center here. Okay. Good? Yep. You should do a G Gundam build at some point, RP. I think you'd like it. You think? You can do Kamehameha Wave. That's pretty cool. It's not called that. It's a long ass Japanese name that I'm not going to try to pronounce. Right. Is that the, was that the Burning Gundam? Yeah. Same thing? Or? Yes. God Gundam is Burning okay. Gundam. G Gundam is the series they're from. Okay. I actually have a. So I bought the G Gundam box set when it came out. And actually have a tequila, so there's a, essentially what it is is all the countries of the world make Gundams, they fight in a tournament. That's cool. And Mexico's Gundam is called Tequila Gundam. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, controversial names for some of the Gundams, but I have a, te yeah. well, the box set came with a Tequila Gundam shot glass. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I got a shining Gundam back there. There you go. Gold. I thought it was the other way around, Azuki. I thought it, I thought Burning Gun or I thought Shining Gundam evolves into well, Shining Gundam and Ri is Rising Gundam, isn't it? Those are the same unit. And then you have um, then you have Burning Gundam separate from those. I thought. That was a big beam. What's your big cannon? Fuck! <laughs> Did you still not use it? Oh, we're not Can done yet. No, I didn't use it yet. I'm gonna use it next time. I don't have time to pick up all the items. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Shining and Rising are separate? I actually didn't. I thought they. Okay. I thought they were the same. Yeah. 
You know what? I'm just going to use it because I'm going to forget to use it. Use it. Well, I'm going to use the rest of the burst mode first before I pop oh, my big gun. Oh, it's a burst. Okay. I thought it was... I don't know. It's a, it's a burst ability. Watch. There's not going to be anything for me to shoot. It's going to... God. Okay, good. Ooh, that's Stargazer. Big gun. Hey, it's a big gun. <laughs> that's cool. It actually made really fast, too. Yeah, it literally just, it just like spawns instantaneously on me. Yeah, that was nice. Another one. Wow, I do not remember all this stuff from Gigano apparently. It's been a long time since I've watched it. I found out, I did find out a cool fact about this game today too. So you can derive parts, which we know, to make new mobile suits. Yeah, how does that work? And build, all right, well, essentially you sacrifice uh, parts to create new parts. And depending on the parts you sacrifice, you get different things. I mean, yeah, do you need certain parts to make Yes, yes, okay. yeah. So in- i have tried to do it and it doesn't work. Okay, so in Build Fighters Try, um, one the main character, one of the main characters gets in a DOM, which we've seen before here. But he, okay. he uses it as a melee mobile suit, which doesn't make any sense. Um, however, in this game, if you derive... Um, I forget what the combination is, but it's, it's a Dom part and another part. You get the, the Bill Burning Gundam, which is the main Gundam from Bill Fighters Try. And in the show, when he's piloting the Dom, it, the Dom armor breaks off and the Bill Burning Gundam's underneath it. So it's like a little nod to the show. Yamakaze, what's up? Um, I am new to the game. Well, me and RP, the person I'm playing with, both are new to the game. This is our first time playing through it. My first Gundam game ever. Well, it's actually, yeah, his is his first Gundam game ever. My first real Gundam experience. That's watching the show. It's a lot of fun. This is definitely a good game to start with. Flying around giant robots, fighting stuff. My, my buddy uh, TZ asked asked me a while back what Gundam game he should play, and I obviously like recommended like old PS2 games. Yeah. But this is definitely the one that I would recommend to somebody now if they've never played one. Yeah, it is the one. I mean, obviously your builds would get a little weird and whatnot, just because you don't like if you're like you wouldn't go for a particular aesthetic like I was, which right. is actually could be a cool thing. Wait, wait, what's going on here? Are you flying around something? What the fuck? You see that? What are you doing? Oh, it's the back oh, thing. That's that's cool. I didn't even know that was an ability really in the cool. game. How you do that? That's the backpack he has on. Oh, it's just his backpack. Yeah. That's cool. It's like a little pad. See, so there's so much cool shit. There's a lot of stuff that, yeah, I, I, that's why I've tried to avoid, like, spoiler-ish stuff, like, for different parts and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, it's the Infinity, Infinite Justice backpack. Oh, that makes sense. I've seen that. Okay. It has a beam cannon, too. That's why we gotta finish the story, huh? So we can unlock all that stuff. Well, we have to do the, we have to do the main story, then all the DLC shit. Right. Before we really start. Oh, it's a death scythe. Grind. Okay. Well, see, the, the one thing that is nice, like the stuff that you unlock at the beginning of the game is viable at the end of the game still. Yeah, it's not like it just comes up. It's not like in Monster Hunter where you have low grade gear and high grade gear, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can upgrade your low grade gear to be like orange, for example. Yeah. For that legendary or whatever that equates to. Well, yeah, I think you basically just build what you want, right? And then you upgrade it to whatever the highest level. Yeah, I'm sure they're... Really, I mean, the only I mean, spoilers the that are in this game... Like, I'm not really worried about spoilers story-wise. But I, I I don't know all the mobile suits that are in the game. So I want to... That's kind of like a, the ongoing surprise as we play through. Is what we get to see. So that would be the only thing that's really a spoiler. Because, I mean, the story is pretty relatively straightforward, I think. Conceptually, at least. Unless it takes some crazy plot twist at some point that I'm not aware of. Then I guess that would be considered a spoiler. This is the... Yeah, this is the Breaker Edition. Right, and that was the one thing that I was worried about going into this game, was that you would not be able to do that. But I'm, I'm very happy that is how it worked out. That you can like take, you literally have a Zaku 2 with all legendary gear. 
and it'd be viable. Now, it might not have as many cool gadgets as other ones, but you, you could do that in theory. Which is what I really wanted to do. Not necessarily a Zaku 2 build, but like... That well, yeah, you said Zaku was like one of the lowest ones, right? Yeah, it's like the it's the mass like the, the base mobile suit essentially for the series. Zaku one is yeah. the base mobile suit, which I think is in this game. It has to be. It definitely is. It's just we haven't seen one in a while. I'm pretty sure I can buy the parts kit for it right now. I'll do I'm gonna do a Zaku one build too at some point. Or yeah, Zaku one, yeah, that's correct. Let me see if it's here real quick. It'd probably be at the top of the list. If it's if we've unlocked it already. Wait, can I sort by no, can't sort by series? Ooh, that's cool. You'd like Ultron Gundam 2 RP. Oh yeah. It's the one on the screen right now. It has the double beam trident, but those uh its arm cool. pieces have like those dragon like faces like fire yeah. out from it. Pretty cool. That's really cool. How much is that? Uh forty five thousand I would hope you have enough for that. I mean I spent a lot of money. Did you um turn in your turn in all your parts yet once? No. Okay, because I said that made me like three hundred k, I think, or more than that actually. Uh, yeah, that's how you have so much. Yeah. What's what's it called again? The the Gundam. I'm having a, I I brain fart. Hold on, Ultron Gundam Endless Waltz. Ultron with a U. A L T R O N. A L. -T -R -O -N. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's in here, actually. If uh, Gundam Maxter you're talking about, I, I don't know if he's in here or not. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, those are all new pieces for me. I'm going to assume he probably is, being the Dragon Gundam and... uh. That's pretty cool. Shining Gundam and Burning Gundam and, and, and Noble Gundam and all them are in here, so I'm guessing. Maybe I didn't... We must not unlock the Zaku 2 yet. Do you have a chance Zaku to get, like, other. orange tier stuff from these? I don't know the answer to that question. I'm, I got a blue set of legs, that's why I asked. I'm assuming whatever color the so the, the text defines what, what grade okay, you're gonna yeah. get. And I think that's probably how that works. That makes sense. Maxer and Bolt are out. Out as in they're out in the game or they're not in the game. The only reason I could see them putting in Noble as opposed to the other ones is because um oh they're not in the game oh that sucks um you could however do the one age gundam that has similar they're not boxing gloves obviously like the maxter has but it's something similar to that so the only reason that noble gundam would be in here is because it has the unique berserker mode i think as opposed to having the the whole deck of cards in here what's the, was that called something specific or just ultron ultron gundam in, in, in uh, quotes, Endless Waltz. You may not have unlocked it yet, because you have to get so many parts broken off of it to unlock it. Why well, just bought the kit? Oh. Oh, you couldn't find it. What is it? I just have Ultron Gundam. Let's see where it says. Will it say Endless is it, is Are the Ultron parts green? Some of them are green. But I already had Ultron parts. You probably could do that, Yamakaze. You probably could do a custom build that looks like the Maxter. The one thing that would be cool if the Bolt Gundam was in here would be the, uh... The, um... Bowl, not bowling ball, but like the, uh... What is it? What, 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 it's not like a... A flail, I guess you'd call it. But it has. That's a cool weapon. Oh, so you already had, like, all these ports. I didn't realize. You probably, yeah, so Zuki, you probably could build a similar Gunpla to look like them. If you had all the right parts. Yeah, the chain ball, yeah. Which, I, it's kind of like a, well, in a sense, I guess, but not really. Maybe it's a chain ball, we'll go with that. You find what you're looking for, RP? Backpack. I believe no, his I arms. See, I, I don't see the backpack. I don't think you need the backpack though for the arms. No, I I, 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 have, I have the arms. That was the one but I thought you were But isn't there? Oh, maybe I have it sorted wrong. Yes. Yeah, well. Oh yeah. Make sure you. Yeah. You have to shut that yeah. off because they they, they persist after you leave. Yeah, they stay on. Ooh, what is it? Wait, wait, wait. What is this show? I'm just. Where'd it go? No. God damn it. 
Is there a specific shield he had too? Yeah, I believe it's a. Ooh, wait, Ultron doesn't have a shield. No shield. No, because he has those giant dragon things on his arms. Okay. Yeah, they're dragon fangs, that's what they're called. Wow, that color actually is not what I remember Ultron Gundam looking like. No? On my screen, they're like gray. Hmm. Um, yeah, mine are kind of like. I thought he was more. Gray. I thought he was a darker green. That's, that's sort of what mine is a dark green. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. You have an idea for how you could build Maxter? You, that was a spoiler unlock? Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll find out when we get there then. Oh shit, that's cool. What's um, we aren't there... Can I put on like a coating? Are there kind of coatings I can put on? Instead of a shield? Oh, it's beginning Gundam, that's cool. Beginning 30 Gundam. What is What do the three stars mean on your head, Rondericks? Or if anyone else knows the answer. Beginning 30 Gundam. Oh, huh. that's cool. Oh, stars equal limit level break. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming that means once you get to the max level, it becomes stronger or something like that. Oh, okay, cool. Um,. Could you make Gundam Rose? You could probably get something going. It'd be harder to simulate the uh, like cape shield thing that it has, though. That'd be the hard part, I think, for Gundam Rose. I thought you meant like Corn Rose. No, like R uh, R O S E Rose. Oh. Okay, yeah. So you you limit break your equipment then. Oh, that's cool. Did not know that was. I didn't know that was a a uh, mechanic in the game. Ugh, Gundam Seed uniforms. Disgusting. What are, the, what are the coatings I can put on? What are you talking about when you say coatings? I can put on coatings instead of a physical shield. Oh, yes, correct. What about it? I What, what are they called? I did it before. What are they called? Oh, your cape comes with them, I think. Yeah, but I didn't have a cape at that point. Yeah, I think you could, like somewhat emulate the funnel mechanic that it has, but I don't know if you'd find a weapon to match his rapier, and the whole, like, cape shield thing would be hard. If you go to shields RP, they should just be in there. Well, I wanna know what I don't, I don't if, you, if you would sort by just shield in the shield category. Oh, I see. Arm shield, captain shield, shield. Yeah, it would just be a shield. That's cool. And then, um... Okay, but that's still not I think what you were gonna want to sort by is I'll tell you what it is once I find it on here I don't think I'm going the wrong direction I probably am you'd want to sort by where the, where the hell is it I, is it Gundam X maybe oh wow that's cool what's this thing I don't have any shields actually have anything like that. Oh shit, Gundam Rose is in the game as a DLC unit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hey, I'm not Whatever. sure. I'm, I'm not actually not sure. Why don't you just put a shield on? Because I, I just removed it. Okay. Um, so I think beginning Gundam has a bunch of beam sabers, doesn't it? Hold on. Let's inspect you. Is this what he looks like? I made him. Yeah, more or less. Yes, that's him. Cool. This guy over here is really cool. What is this? That's beginning Gundam with a bunch of stuff on it. That's really cool. I think be beginning Gundam is from uh, Build Fighters, I think. Oh, that is just. Oh, it's just the upgraded form. Okay. Yeah, from the first build fighters.
This game really makes me want to rewatch re Build Fighters. It is older than that. I figured it was from something else. So is it, it's called Beginning Gundam 30. It's a model suit Gunpla Builders Beginning G. Oh, was that before Build Fighters came out then, Rondorix? Because I think I've heard of that before. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Beginning G was a three episode OVA series before Build Fighters happened. Similar concept. Gotcha. I didn't I never I never watched that before. I kind of wish you could see everybody's launch. I mean, you can see mine. Look at the stream. I know, but I, I just <laughs> like everybody at once launch. Oh, you're not using Ultron? No, I just wanted to make it. I think you'll like, uh, if you play around with those dragon things, I think it'd be cool. I forgot to equip his tried. It's actually. I think, yeah, it's a lance weapon, I'm pretty sure. This team looks stacked. Does it count as a lance weapon? I'm pretty sure it is. I, I'm not. Don't quote me. I thought it was. Yeah, no, don't try it. Oh no, he went into burst mode. I like how when they go into burst mode, they get full health. Yeah. Whoa, what is going on right now? Do, do you see these blades flying around? Yeah, I do. What the fuck? That's awesome. That's cool. Do you fight on the meteor from Gunna Winger? I don't know, actually. If we do, if you do, we do not get that far yet. This is a new map, too. It is new. Where are we? Oh god, it's a big it's a big boy. Two big boys. Nice was really cool. Oh, it's a it's a new Gundam. Oh god. Something just fucking grabbed me. What the fuck just happened right there? Oh no! Okay, I was being grabbed. Yeah, you get grabbed from the My shield lasts forever now. I put like the optional extension on. I'm really curious to see how much damage my funnels actually do to enemies. Um, I think that's just the regular, so that's the regular new Gundam. I think this might be this, this a regular, um, Strike Gundam or whatever. A version of the Strike Gundam. Dude, whatever that, whatever Ronrick's got going on down there looks badass. I don't know what's happening. It, it looks cool, whatever it is. Yeah, that's cool. Must be one of those enhancing abilities, right? Yeah, I'm assuming it is. It's probably, well, it's a DLC ability, and I know a lot of the DLC, they oh, okay. started adding unique things. Yeah. I think it's new and perfect strike. I thought, that's what I thought, yeah. New Gundam and perfect strike. But that actually might be a shield around him that's, like, persisting we, like that. build these big ones eventually? No, those are perfect grades. You can build on um, master grades. Okay. So taller versions of us. Yeah. But not every um, not every unit gets a master grade version. Okay. I'm not sure which units do and don't, but I know I just know there's a couple. Well, I think I believe there's also a few that only get master grade versions. Oh. Contact damage. What the fuck is that? 
Spider Boy. Gels G A G. Okay, it's a spider jam. It broke me. All of me. <laughs> I blew off my arm. It's a boss fight. We haven't had one of these in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. It's not even moving. Dude, I love- this is like funnels. Oh, that's so cool. Those discs are acting like funnels. Blade, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this thing ends up doing. Oh, don't stand in front of that. Big beam? God damn it, he broke me again. Yeah, the big beam, don't stand in front of that. Yeah, that seemed like a bad idea. It is. Oh, what, what's he doing? What is happening? Oh, we just can't lock on? No, I'm locked on. Did you lose your head? I thought I did for a second there, but I think it was, um... I don't know what happened, actually. No clue. That's cool, he's like a shield bitch. Oh, okay, so you just ram into him then. That's that's pretty cool. Of course, I use my freaking rain ability and he moves. He's good. Got a cannon in his. I like how the, the uh beginning Gundam has the like the finger blades almost. They're not finger blades. I know he just holds a bunch of beam sabers like that, but it looks cool. That is um, high new Gundam funnels that I have equipped right now. Got hyper beam sabers, pretty cool. Yeah, that's from the ZZ Gundam. The burst action I got. I think that's also for the ZZ. Oh, I, I got high mega cannon. Come on. S Gundam. Those are cool. The gold wings. Oh, I actually didn't see your message. My bad. So the beginning 30 Gundam has beam savers. It uses this funnel. Spinning beam saver funnels. Seems balanced. Oh, wow. Alright, so now we're in the Nostalgia GBTA Finals Qualifier and the Tour Final GBTA Finals Qualifier. 11 and 12. Gundam Hank, there he is. Why'd you name your Gundam Hank? I don't know, it just seemed funny at the time. So they work as funnels, beam fangs, and also shield like new Gundams. That, I, that's cool, so it does all three then. Think of doing a double X or double Z Gundam tanking boy. <laughs> I, I think you can unlock. Yeah, you can get caterpillar treads in this. You could actually make a tank, essentially, like a gun tank build. That'd be funny. I can't. I don't think I unlocked this Aku one yet. I'm almost positive I didn't see it yet in the shop. Huh. I, I you know I don't think we actually saw them anywhere in the game yet either. I'm sure they're in here, obviously. But are you sure? I mean, I, I can't believe they have any Gundam game that like crosses all the series. I don't have the original Zaku in here. I want to inspect our our AI teammates Gundam and see what it's made of. Looks cool. What are you buying? I'm selling some parts. No. Like you said, did you? Um, so what I actually did was I, there's a way to sort them out where you can have all your basic parts separated yeah. and then sell all of them at one time. Is that all you did? Yeah. I think I went to package merge and you can sort them in there and then sell them all. You can do it in store too. You can also do it by level, I think too. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea. Actual so funnel offense common is stuff. barrier form. Instead of for defense, you get the IFS unit barrier from op three option equipment and your shield. 
like a GN field but with constant damage with contact damage and a special melee attack too. Jeez. Alright, so beginning Gundam is pretty badass it seems like. Yeah, I don't think there's any references to Gundanium that I've seen yet. Um, have you tried the arena arena bounty hunt yet? I've done a few arena matches here and there. Just for fun. You don't like beginning 30? Why are you why are you using it then if you think it's dumb? Oh, dumb in a good way. Gotcha. Okay. like 400k now oh shit you sold a lot of stuff then i had a lot of ports were you close to full not really i was only like halfway also it's beam rifle normal shots split like a piercing shotgun blast on impact of course why wouldn't it do that surprise doesn't like have wings too that sprout out from it like turn a and just kill everything around it that's actually a ex ability i haven't seen yet the turn a wings i'm assuming that is Turn a wing. Uh, sure. Yeah, turn a wing. Yeah. Well, it's moonlit butterfly is what it's called. Actually, is the uh, ability. Wait, it has green energy wings. Are you fucking serious? Oh, yes, it does. There they are. Okay. So they've literally covered all their bases with that Gundam. Oh, I think things are getting a little stronger now. Yeah, they are. I'm not doing as much damage as I was before, yeah. yeah it's taking like a full combo to kill things. Ooh, what is this? Who are you? Dude. I have no idea what that is. That's a... We fought these guys before. Oh, it's phase. Phase game. I'd be lying if I said I knew what that what that was. <laughs> it looks cool though. This the Dogen Wolf is very large, very large mobile suit. But I guess it's in the ZZ Gundam universe or timeline, so it, I guess Gundam the ZZ Gundam is pretty big by itself. So. Dude, I love these beam saber funnel thing things. Oh, there's a monolith over here. Turn a chicken. I just saw what you said. Is it turn a chicken wings? Yes, turn a chicken wings. I love that at the end of that attack you strike a pose. Me? My uh no my one piercing slash attack after you like zoom through everybody you strike a pose and your eyes uh, uh yeah. blink. That's cool. Okay, yeah, the the the, the Neo Zeong is gonna be enormous, I, which I'm almost positive it's in this game, and I can only imagine how big it actually is when we get to it. Yeah, the Double Z is a, is a very large, very large Gundam.
Is the Neo Zeon considered a mobile armor or a mobile suit, though? I think it is still considered a mobile suit. But I'm not positive. Because, like, Alpha Azeru from Char's counterattack is enormous, but I'm pretty sure it's considered a mobile armor. And conceptually, it's similar to... It's, it's considered a mobile armor. Okay. Place that cross last uh, the uh what is it called slash tempest it doesn't seem like it does that much damage you don't like it well i, I kind of want to put my spin to win attack on this character bastard. yeah yeah just because it's a very satisfying ability to use yeah NZ992 Neo Zeon is an upgrade and bigger. What is that from? And it's it's bigger than the regular Neo Zeon because like if I recall at the end of Unicorn, that thing is fucking enormous. Okay, so it's the one from Narrative. I guess the one in Narrative, I didn't I didn't realize it was bigger than the original. That's what I, don't, what I don't understand is why is the Fenix in this game, which come, came out after the Gun Iron Blooded Orphans came out, and you can't get the Barbados Lupus Rex. So that's the version of from Iron Blooded Orphans. So right now you're seeing Barbados form one in the episode you're on RP at the beginning. That's like way and it's like what he uses for the final battle, and it has like all kinds of crazy ass equipment on it, and and it's not in the game. I don't understand why. No, I mean, it'd actually be really cool in this game, I think. Because, it, like, it uses, like, a, uh... It's not a tail, per se, but it acts like a tail. Where he controls it and has, like, a blade on the end where he, like, attacks people with it. Okay. Kind of, like, conceptually how a funnel works. Like, it's, like, controlled with his mind, essentially. But I don't believe it's in this game, sadly. And I, want, I was really excited to use it. Because I, I wanted to get its arms. Because its arms have, like, these claws on it. It looks badass. It's very aggressive. Very aggressive looking. That is, no, I'm pretty sure turn A Gundam is actually the strongest Gundam. I think that's, that's correct. I think it's because of the movement butterfly. That makes it the strongest. Old mustache Gundam. Your favorite Shining Gundam? Yeah, I like Shining Gundam too. I did not know that. The turn A and turn X have the highest generator output. All good to go to the next area. Chest somewhere. I think oh, okay. Is there? I don't know. I was asking. Oh, I didn't see one. Oh, really? They're powered by black holes. So I'm not up on my turn A lore. 
I uh, actually have the entire series in my collection over here. Um, I've not watched all turn A yet, though. Did you put up your displays yet? No. No. They're sitting right. They're sitting beside the wall. They're gonna go on. <laughs> uh, you would not be able to see them though, where I'm at right now. Though it's the wall yeah, beside that. Yeah. Those, they are really nice though. So if you, if you ever plan on buying them, you do, like that. I can vouch for their quality. Yeah, they're going to go on and they literally have anything you could ever want on there. Like in terms of like shows, nature, animals. I don't know anything you could think of. <laughs> the one thing that I did find out find a little irritating it's kind of hard to search their websites for things like they aren't properly um not hashtag but like they're not like you can't really sort easily through different things yeah like i thought that i found all the gundam ones then i found a shit ton more because I, mean, I don't think the tags are necessarily laid out the way you'd expect they, they don't have a gundam tag correct like if they do it might not show all the gundam stuff they have I think it, it really is how the personal artist like how they sets it up. It. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was trying to find one of the camper, and I could not find one forever. And then all of a sudden, I was just scrolling through some random artist, and there was one there. And like I typed his name in and everything. Even like the show he's from and all that kind of stuff, and none of that made it come up. But I found one. It's probably on there. I, I guarantee the green colors, colors. Yeah, I guarantee the logo is at least one of the, you can get that on display. Like the yeah. sunglasses logo thing they 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 rock. Yeah. I have a shirt with that. On. Yeah. Yes. Each gun plus series is supposed to represent the top three powerful Gundams. Wait, really? Okay, so in Gundam Build Fighters, you have the Strike Gundam, well, the Build Strike, which that makes sense. I could see that, where that goes, because of Gundam Seed. And in, in Try, you have the Build Burning Gundam, which obviously God Gundam is kind of OP, hence the name, God Gundam. Um, you have the Zeta variant that uh, the kid with the blue hair uses, so I get that. Um... And then, what about the SD Gundam though in that series? Why is that? What? It's not anything in particular. I, don't, I didn't think. Like I could get there with with the build burning Gundam and the uh, the version of the Zeta Gundam. I can see how those would both be really powerful. What the? F is that you? Yeah, it's me. Okay. When the melt will be done. Oh, the double O Quanta Gundam is toward the newer one. Well, I can see it. Yeah, also, I can see how the Quanta is one of the strongest. That's in Build Divers, I believe, right? The main character uses a version of the, of the, the double O. Like, if you think about it, wouldn't the, uh, the Phoenix, wouldn't that be one of the strongest Gundams ever, theoretically? Wait, what is the strongest? The Quant- the double O Quanta? I could- if, if that's the case, I could probably see that being that some weird shit's going on with how it works. Cause then, like, Setsuna does all kinds of crazy shit. At the end, in the in the movie, that shield beam lasts forever. Yeah, it seems like it. Go! 
Oh, I'm sorry. I read that second strongest. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to top the turn A for, for more reasons that I don't have the answer to. Double O Sky is double O plus Destiny. Is that from the Build Diver series? I always liked Destiny Gundam. I thought it was a cool concept, like the wings and everything. Yeah, okay, that's what I did. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll have to watch the Build Diver series again, or get back into it. I think I was, um, I actually don't remember. He didn't have his, I, I was probably about halfway through, I think. But I just, I didn't like stop watching because I didn't like it. I just kind of stopped watching it. Been there. Yeah. Oh, what we got? I don't know what that is. S Gundam. Okay. Okay, S Gundam. I don't know what you're from, but you look cool. The big old boy. These are giant ass master grades. Wait, Gundam Alex is number 10? Are you serious? I'm biased. I don't like Gundam Alex because they killed the camper. Um, 9 is the Strike Freedom. 8 is the new Gundam. 7 is V2. 6 is Gundam Double X. 5 is the Wing Zero. 4 is the Unicorn. 3 is God. Double 2 is Double O Quanta. And number 1 is Gundam Turn A. Huh. Okay. Also, you're. I, that's actually a pretty good list, I think. I think the Fennec still should be on that list. Also, I'm like 90% sure the version of the Fennec from Narrative will kick Satsuna in the double O Quanta's ass for a variety of reasons. Oh, we unlocked Alice. That's an. In the S Gundam. Okay. And the Hyper Mega Cannon. Hmm. Yeah, the Dovin Wolf got a wild ass head. Phase. Yeah. It's real pointy. Yeah. Yeah, I thought like the Phoenix was like OP because like at the end of narrative, that's definitely the that's definitely what they make it seem like based on how powerful it is. And like the whole like I mean, you don't really get the full explanation of the psycho frame stuff that's going on there, but Exactly, yeah, because the I forget her name, but the pilot, yeah, was her soul was literally in the psycho frame of the Gundam. And that, that is also true. It does move beyond light speed. It's almost like the Phoenix was a ghost in in um narrative. Like it was almost like it was not a physical unit anymore. Because, you know, new type psycho frame reasons. The same way that Char and Amro are absorbed by light and just disappear. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I know that you get the Phoenix, the Phoenix in this game, and you can use the light wings. They're the like the Psycho Frame light ability wing things that it gets in narrative and like knock all the parts off all the enemies which is really cool what time we going to i'm done now that was the last mission we're gonna run okay i was just seeing if there's anything else in chat this conversation interests me Being, I just watched Narrative not too long, like a month or two ago. It was during the whole quarantine thing that I watched it, so I'm 
curious to see what people think about it. I gotta put on that trident thing. Oh yeah, you should. Where is it? Beam rifle shorty? What the fuck? Strike one. Little hmm. well, beam pistols. There we go. Twin beam trident. But yeah, guys, I think for tonight, we're going to wrap up. Um, we will, we'll be playing more uh, Gundam Breaker 3 on Thursday if anyone else would like to join. Rondrix, thanks for hopping in and playing with us today. That was fun. Yeah, so if any of you guys have the game and want to play with us, you're more than welcome to. Um, obviously, we'll have two slots open. So, you know, just jump in the stream and say, hey, let me join and I'll give you the password for the room. And you're more than welcome to play with us. Um, the only thing is, just if you do play, make sure your unit isn't like super busted OP so you're not one-shotting everything just so like the missions are you know somewhat difficult quote unquote but yeah um Azuki if you if you do get it and you start playing it and you want to join in you're more than welcome to um even if it's not Thursday the next stream whatever you know whenever you get to a point where you want to join in, you're more than welcome to so yeah but with that, I'm going to wrap up for the night. Um, I will see you guys Thursday if you decide to stop back in. If you haven't, make sure you follow the channel. And yeah, good stream. A lot of fun. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.